You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, he's got an amazing record predicting seismic activity. He was on with us about a year ago and predicted we'd see increased earthquakes around the United States. Uh, this is just out today. Swarm of earthquakes strikes parts of northern Oklahoma. Dallas is getting hit. New York's getting hit. What's really behind this? Is it the pole shift? The pole, we know, is starting to move uh, at the fastest rate ever recorded. It's only been measuring it for about 100 years or so. What's happening with the supervolcano uh, there uh, out west? Uh, what's going on? We're going to be talking to Stan Deo coming up today in the second hour. Now, before we go any further, I want to just mention some of the other news uh, that's coming up. U.S. considers declassifying report on Saudi funding of al-Qaeda. That's Reuters. And, of course, that goes into the 9-11 report, which also basically states, we've talked to the members of Congress and others that have seen the secret 28 pages, that our government had a stand down and wouldn't allow the investigation of Muhammad and Atta and others when they were on the ground in the months before 9-11 because of the Saudi connection. That is aiding and abetting. So where are the apologies from all the Fox News, MSNBC, and CNN reporters calling me a traitor for correctly from day one saying what we saw on 9-11 was obviously not the whole story? Where is my Pulitzer Prize? for saying clearly Saudi Arabia quarterbacked the operations, and I had the head of the U.S. Embassy visa section, Springman, and countless others on. I talked to Colonel Butler, uh, who went public uh, to the San Jose Mercury News, saying that they trained hijackers at his secret base uh, at the Defense Language School in his class. I, I mean, all I was doing was telling you the truth, so I got demonized for it. Well, where is the apology? And what you gonna do, what you gonna do when the false flags come for you? What you gonna do when all this comes out? What you gonna do when it comes out that they've known that the vaccines are brain damaging people? They even have Merck and CDC whistleblowers going public. And that uh, Wakefield, I forgot Dr. Wakefield just won uh, his lawsuit uh, against uh, the uh, fake journal uh, report put out by a reporter in a medical journal that he was a quack. Wakefield was never a quack. Wakefield never got caught lying. Wakefield never got caught fixing things. Turned out there were two British studies before him that were not publicly released that basically did the same thing he did and found the same thing. Of course the government had tested decades before and knew. What do you think a heads-up optics is in a, in a, in a F-18? That's to target. And that's what they test for is for their targeting systems. Of course, whatever they're doing to us, they've studied, and, if, and, and, and whatever we reverse engineer and discover is always in government documents and plans and comes out later. That they were already testing it and knew it. Of course they knew. Of course they knew that vaccines were linked to autism. Of course they knew it caused autoimmune disorders. Of course they knew it caused blood on the brain and and allergic responses in key organs, like the brain, like the pancreas. Of course, it says on the insert for 40-something years can give you pancreatitis, can give you diabetes, can give you Guillain-Barre, can give you narcolepsy, can give you epilepsy, can give you basically all these different neurological disorders. Holy Toledo! Everybody's saying, oh, you're right about Obamacare. There are death panels. It does increase prices. How'd you know? It was in the stinking bill. That's what's so frustrating about all this is that it's on record, on record. And they just hope you don't go to the source documents 
And they just go, oh, that's all discredited. Uh, vaccines don't hurt you at all. Blah, blah, blah. Read the insert. All right, I'm, I'm ranting. Just tons of news coming up. Stay with us. Predicted that we start seeing earthquakes all over the United States, and he has a forecasting system he uses that he even gets hired by governments, state governments, other governments, our government, to forecast for them. Uh, he's going to be joining us to give us his earthquake forecast in the next hour and talk about what's happening out at Yellowstone and other issues. And is there a secret order out by Obama gagging major government-connected uh, seismologist and others to cover up what's happening at the super volcano that we know has erupted uh, in the scheme of time on pretty much a routine basis covering much of North America in molten ash making what happened at Pompeii look like a cakewalk uh, in of course uh, Italy where to begin bombshell after bombshell Tom Brokaw, who has been engaged in plenty of war propaganda, lying and disinformation in his own right. So that's the uh, pot calling the kettle black, uh, has come out and said that uh, drop Brian Williams. So the fellow NBC anchor says get rid of Brian Williams. Boy, shouldn't be throwing rocks in, in glass houses. But I agree. I said he should be fired. But that sets a precedent, though, that all you other liars say, oh, it's okay to lie about dummy MDs like Tom Brokaw did. It's okay to knowingly hype stuff up. It's okay to push anti-gun agendas and try to disarm people. It's okay to lie about vaccines being safe and effective. <clears throat> Just don't make yourself a hero. Just don't get caught saying that you were in a helicopter that was shot down when none of the helicopters were shot down when you basically flew over another helicopter an hour and a half later or so that had been shot down. So don't get caught, I guess. Well, Hillary Clinton got caught by CBS News, who was with her, saying that they'd gotten shot at in the air and on the ground in Bosnia, and it was totally fake. So should Hillary Clinton then have to uh, resign from public life? Absolutely she should. In fact, CBS News, Cheryl Atkinson says, Brian Williams, not alone. Hillary Clinton lied about being shot at in Bosnia. So this is really starting to come out. This is really starting to come out. But I think it's lesser to lie about being heroic like he's done. That's kind of a glorified fish story. I think it's stolen glory and, and, and is distasteful and disgusting and uh, of bad re repute, as they would say. But lying to people like Rachel Maddow and Bill O'Reilly and these other hosts saying vaccines are totally safe, totally effective, it's the law, take them, you won't get sick if you take the flu shot or you take the measles shot, all total lies. The flu shot insert says it can give you the flu. The measles shot says it can give you the, the measles. I mean, we've shown those on air from the Merck insert. It's a fact. And then she got up there and said, I'm having one of those mental blocks. Who's the, who's the Fox News? Megyn Kelly. Yeah, Megyn Kelly. And I'd love to like Megyn Kelly. But she's the one I've got a clip of saying, too many kids is what's making the planet worse. We should have a law against having more kids. And I've got that clip in my film Endgame. Well, now she's out saying that, oh, it was all discredited that uh, vaccines were ever linked to autism. No, the media six years ago ran a national, international hoax with Dr. Wakefield, who's on next week in studio. He lives in Austin, formerly of England. He's got his medical license here in the States. He had his medical license removed by a kangaroo board with this report put out by a journalist in a medical journal claiming he'd been discredited, claiming he'd recanted. Well, Dr. Wakefield filed suit last year. He announced it on this show in the studio. Well, now it's being reported by British newspapers, and there it is on screen for TV viewers. British court throws out conviction of autism vaccine MD. Andrew Wakefield's co-author completely exonerated. And now it's going to be Wakefield, and Wakefield's lawsuit has passed some hurdles and is going forward against the so-called journalist, who's connected to Big Pharma, of course.
in the revolving door. So folks are suing. People are going after medical boards. They're getting their licenses back. It's on. It's on. Because Wakefield has two secret studies that have been declassified in the last three years that the British government did decades before finding exactly what he found. Exactly what he found. I'm going to say it again. Exactly what he found. That the vaccines are messing up the intestinal flora of children, creating toxins, and basically your children are drunk all the time. They're autistic. That's a simplified way of saying it. There's a toxic response. The gut is connected to the brain. And they've got treatments if they're done early, but no one will tell these parents. The parents keep wondering, why do they have such bowel problems suddenly and they can't talk? And the medical doctors are like, no connection, no connection, because they just want to say, oh, it's genetic. That's why they've gone from one in 25,000 having autism in the 50s to now one in 40-something. Just five years ago, it was one in 150-something. Then it was one in 68. Now down to, you know, one in 50-something, one in 40-something, depending on what region you're in. In South Korea, it's one in 30-something. Look it up. And, of course, they're the more heavily vaccinated than us. And it'll be one out of two. <laughs> and it'll be, we can't take care of all these people. Euthanize them. That's the next plan. Watch it happen. Watch it at current rates. Within 10 years, one out of 10 is going to have autism. You ready for that? Then it's going to be one out of three. And then 50-50, baby. You going to stop it? Or are you going to let a bunch of media whores like Brian Williams sit up there and lie all of us into hell because they've been bought off by special interest and will use their good looks, their well-spoken repertoire off a teleprompter to lie to everyone convincingly, the good-looking, square-jawed alpha male with the twinkly blue eyes and the perfect tie, the $1,000 tie, the $10,000 suit, sitting up there practiced deceivers. I mean, Tom Brokaw, in my view, is worse a more evil propagandist than Brian Williams. And he says, throw him under the bus. Yeah, I got to tell you, if I was one of these liars up at that level, I wouldn't throw my colleague under the bus. But see, there's no honor among this scum. They don't even, there's no honor among thieves. They don't even have the honor to stick up for each other. I mean, they are the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. And they are lying to you on every front and getting caught. With a straight face. I'm not coming after your guns, not your rifle, not your shotgun, not your handgun. That was a quote by Obama and Biden that they gave hundreds of times in speeches. And they immediately came after our guns. You can keep your doctor. It's going to cut it to the price of a phone or cable bill. Guaranteed. Don't listen to these liars. They quite frankly are racist. You notice the health care prices are exploding. I mean, they are a pack of scum. The president's become a dictator, dissolving the border, shutting off our power plants. I mean, we are in a red level emergency. If we were a ship, you'd hear, that means wake up everybody, all hands on deck. We may have to go to the lifeboats. I mean, this country, this world is going alert, alert. And this is for real people. We're going into tyranny. Now, before I get into other issues, You've probably heard me say this, let's not exaggerate, since I saw TSA founded 14 years ago and about a year into it when they were founding Homeland Security, I told you this, I watched a two-hour C-SPAN report, I even played clips on air. Back in the old days, I would record on VHS, bring it into the office, we only had a few crew members, we'd grab clips right off of it and play it on air. We would just queue up the VHS in the control room and they would just play audio clips off of it, that's how we did stuff. We had computers we could put it on, but... It would take too long to dump it and then snip it and wait for the audio to render, so we would just play it off VHS. I've played this. Somebody can go into the archives from 2002 when they were having cabinet meetings about congressionally creating a new agency to take over all the other agencies that was going to be Homeland Security. And in that two-hour meeting with Governor Ridge, the first head of Homeland Security, before it was even a cabinet position, before Congress had made it one, I watched it with horror where they said to buy and sell, you'll have to have a TSA card, approved ID card. Uh, 
you they will be on the streets they will be everywhere you will not buy or sell you will without their authorization you'll have internal checkpoints total federalization of all police under tsa because you create a whole new body well there's a new bill that's getting major sponsorship to give them homeland security period without a law enforcement degree law enforcement powers and the power to tax everyone's paycheck to fund it. And here's the headline, Paul Joseph Watson, Infowars.com, linking directly to HR 719. And an economist, top economist warning, new bill turns TSA into tax police. Yeah, remember when the TSA outside of law stopped letting people fly out of the country? If the IRS in a database said, don't let them leave, no judge, no jury, no indictment, no bond, no, no, no lawful, just just you can't leave, we said so. They are the internal Gestapo. Legislation would create Berlin Wall around all Americans, close quote. And, and, and look, it's just happening is the point. I saw them say it. Do you understand? This is not a drill. It's not a game. I'm not sensational. Reality is sensational. We are being taken over by criminals. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's TogetherSave.com. TogetherSave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. TogetherSave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at TogetherSave.com. You ever hear about Ghost 80% AR-15 rifle kits? At Guns80.com, they are the 80% specialists, helping to protect our privacy. Look, there are forces out there right now trying to register guns for future confiscation. UN treaties threatening our Second Amendment, our freedom. You need a Ghost AR-15. Get it at Guns80.com. Call 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. Own an AR-15 today and keep it a secret. Go to Guns80.com. That's Guns80.com. 844-2-GUNS-80. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. And this could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. A lot of of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health at alkavision.com. When an emergency happens, you could be left to fend for yourself and your family. An outbreak of contagious disease can happen anywhere. Because we're faced with more diseases than ever before, we need a better solution than ever before. Fortunately, there is a simple, effective way to protect yourself. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. And it's powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacteria, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is effective against more than 500 different disease-causing pathogens without encouraging drug resistance and without side effects. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported and is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the code SILVER2015 for 30% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce customer relationship software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers. From sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E dot com. Snapforce.com.
Hey, sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here, totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show, and I'm yours truly, Alex Jones. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, with a Sunday edition. 4 to 6 p.m. Central, Infowars.com forward slash show to find all the free podcasts, Droid and iPhone apps, and more. Let me just read the actual headlines instead of just going into each article. It's just so amazing when you study totalitarian countries, when you study the Soviet system, the Nazi system, other fascist and totalitarian systems, to know this is classical, premeditated, by the book, hardcore, super scary takeover. Being done over a long period of time so that we don't wake up and resist it politically. But you then finally get to a flashpoint where all the incrementalism goes over the edge and the tipping point. The president is now a, an elected dictator. Then the Congress is rubber stamping it because they've gotten with the program. That's why the Republican leadership saying, yeah, we're going to legalize the entire world to come here and give them free welfare. Game over. I mean, it's the plan. Kill the country. World government. It's here. Unelected world government looting you and rationalizing it, saying humans are bad, we're going to get rid of everybody. There's a new nature doesn't need people ad that CNN's running. And this isn't about getting back in harmony with the earth. This is just about the elite saying we're the guardians of the earth and we're going to kill your butt. But first, we're going to suck everything out of you, make you poor, so you're at a subsistence level, so you're easy to roll. This is scientific. I've got their textbooks. I've made films on it. I'm right, period. There is no discussion for you people out that are, that are in denial. Do you understand? You're living in a science fiction movie. I'm living in it. And the denial has to stop, period. With my two eyeballs. I watched two hours of them talking about how you will have a government TSA-enforced ID to work and to buy food, period, to travel, to live. Do you know how hardcore that is? And now, headline, Florida man blocked from getting motorcycle by TSA. All the cars now have tracker boxes that can remote control your vehicle in them. And they're about to start taxing. Europe's already started. Do you understand? It's happening. Red level, take over. They're announcing your television is watching you. Literally. And no one cares. Or no one knows how to respond. It's just so, uh, 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 what you mean? <sighs> we knew from whistleblowers like Colonel Schaefer, and I've had him on like three or four times. He was in the Toronto Star. What's the head of the visa? Uh, it'll be like... Head of Saudi Arabia Visa Bureau, Springman, blows whistle. Something like that. Just, just Springman, 9-11 whistleblower. Type that in. I need his first name. I want to get him back on. Because like a week ago, Nico comes in and goes, hey, you want Springman on? What's his first name? And I said, 9-11 whistleblower Springman. I forget his name. Head of the visa program. He, he came on the show. Just, just, just Google it right now. Michael Springman, Michael Springman, yeah. I, I've had them all on. Saudi Arabia ran the attacks. I, I told you 14 years ago. I told you they blew up the Navy SEALs. I've talked to their families and the Navy SEALs before they went public. I told you the day after they blew them up. What do you think, I just made it up that I met with these people? You think I like being followed around by black sedans? You think I like private investigators and George Soros people crawling all over me? You think I like the White House run media matters writing pieces on us every day? You know why they do? Because I'm on their ass. I know who they are. Criminal, murderer, scum. And I'm pissed. I know what I'm talking about. and Because I'm not nobody, people. I'm just normal. 
I'm normal. I know what internal police are. I know what North Korea is. I know what the TSA is meant to be because they told me what they were going to do. They told me in the books they wrote how they jack our water to brain damage us. Eco science. Whew. All right, I've got to settle down or I'm going to have to go have David Knight come in here. I'm serious. Whew. Whew. But see, this is a normal response to being gang raped by criminals. I mean, I'm not just going to lay here while they put cancer viruses and everybody's vaccines and start murdering everybody. I'm sick of it. I mean, what's wrong with you people? One in 25,000 had autism. Now it's below one in 50. I can't go out to the grocery store, walk down the street without seeing one of these kids they've soft killed. See, because you don't want to kill an enemy. You want to wound them really bad to make the enemy take care of them to weigh them down. You want to shut their energy systems off. You want to break up their families. <laughs> you see what we're talking I mean, it's like the elite or space aliens or something with a master plan. It's so evil. It's so sadistic. No, it's the devil. I mean, that's it. This galactic force of destruction that's animating people to do this. And see, I bet even the Christians are saying, no, no, that's not it. Because the truth is, you don't believe in it. And that's why you're blind to it. Deep down, you don't really believe in the devil. And so he's got you. He's got his teeth into you. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time. NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst case scenario unravels. That's D A R K E S T D A Y S dot I N F O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. 
And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. I'm watching a super class of predators suck humanity dry. Dumb us down and prepare us for the final feast. I don't like it. Never liked bullies, never will. And I'm here to just rally people. I believe in you. I believe, not just in our great listeners who are obviously already awake and know what's going on, but to new listeners and to people that our listeners reach out to, I believe that you need to know what's going on in the world and that God is warning you through a thousand different messages out there every day that we're in crisis. We've been robbed. Our free society's been taken over. We're being turned into an engine of global domination as a military force. They are converting our industrial economy, not to a service economy, but to a prison, industrial, complex, surveillance grid, spy economy. We are converting to a 1984 scenario. Integrated with a THX 1138 Brave New World system. And Huxley, before he died in 1962, gave a speech at Berkeley we've played. His brother, of course, headed up UNESCO and the UN program to standardize planetary operations. And he said, this is the real plan. That's how I wrote Brave New World in 1932. And he said, by the next century, we intend to realize our program. There's the CNN headline. Police radar could detect texting while driving. You scroll down and see through walls. See, two weeks ago, they come out and show a 20-year-old thing that barely shows what's going happening in your house. Now it's, oh, look, we have others that it's totally crisp. All it is is a portable Xbox projector. Xbox looks through your walls. Xbox Connect. It's the same crap. Sonar. With a chip so sensitive, it gives them a crisp image. You can tune it through how many walls you want. You can tune it right through somebody's clothing. You can then uh, change the functions and add color to it. And it's inexpensive units. They're now rolling out nationwide. Just like last year, about six months ago, the feds got caught. We caught them years ago. We did break it. I'm just telling you, we know what we're talking about. On record, we broke it. But uh, Homeland Security, we go, oh, we don't know what these are. Hackers must have put up fake cell towers. Oh, yeah, right. You know, huge ones all over the country. And the FBI came out and said, those aren't ours. And then a month later, it came out in court. It was all theirs. I remember reading an MIT publications 15, 16, 17 years ago. This is about 97. That they were reading our license plates nationwide, putting it in a database. Here it is uh, in The Guardian. It's come out in federal court here. Same thing in Europe. DEA using license plate readers to take photos of U.S. drivers. Documents reveal over 200 million Americans are tracked everywhere they go and everything you do. And it's all recorded in a permanent database to stop the drugs being shipped in. Give me a break. They bring the drugs in. And the DEA is there to make sure that no cowboys cut into the market. Period. Period. It was the Roosevelts at the end of Prohibition, the Roosevelt family, where the public family with the opium monopoly through the Russell Trust, since 1740 or so, they had the monopoly out of British East, uh, British East India to bring in to Boston and New York the opium that was sold at apothecaries, drugstores everywhere. Cough syrup was opium-based. Laudanum. And there was their monopoly was broken by trust-busting laws, so they just made it illegal and kept shipping it right in. Right into New York and Boston, right in front of everybody. But now you didn't buy it for 15 cents at the corner store. You paid $10 for it. And now you pay $100 or $200 for it. That's how you run a black op. And the public absolutely loves it. They love getting thrown in prison for being dumb enough to use opiates, either prescription or illegal. <laughs> That's how you run an operation on the slaves. And the slaves love it. They love it.
Here's the article. Economist's new bill turns TSA into tax police. Legislation would create Berlin Wall around all Americans. Uh, they're already doing it, but now they just want to codify it. Like they already have FEMA camps, but then they introduced the bill, Emergency Centers Establishment Act, to give you know billions of dollars a year to it and make it uh, congressionally uh, recognized. Kind of like they've been spying with the NSA illegally for decades. They get caught, then they try to pass laws to reform it that then legalize it. <sighs> Sorry, you can't legalize murder even if you say it's legal. I guess you did with killing babies, so I'm wrong. Economist Martin Armstrong <coughs> warns that a new bill which directs the TSA to apprehend and investigate anyone, quote, suspected of committing a crime, would turn the federal agency into a new branch of the IRS. Well, that's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> told you. Uh, the T, in fact, I work for the IRS, and the IRS is going to enforce Obamacare and everything else because it works for the Federal Reserve. The TSA Office of Inspection Accountability Act, H.R. 719, introduced on Wednesday by U.S. Representative John Katko, would require TSA criminal investigators to spend a minimum of 50% of their time investigating, apprehending, or detecting individuals suspected of committing a crime. I thought it was for terrorism and the evil Saudis, so we had to blow up Iraq. It's never for that. Oh, man, I'm getting so angry I can hardly breathe. According to Armstrong, the legislation would create a new kind of Berlin Wall around all Americans, close quote, because it would provide the federal agency with a huge remit to prevent people from traveling. Well, yeah, internal police, internal checkpoints, the, the cherry on top, the 180-degree conversion from liberty to all-out tyranny. Katko is a former federal prosecutor, so he knows precisely what he's doing writing a law that is so broad that anyone suspected of a crime cannot leave the country, writes Armstrong. This is any crime, and it's by the TSA and the feds. No judge, no jury, no indictment, no nothing. Keeping gold in a safe deposit box is money laundering. Carrying 25 years in prison under this. Yeah, notice the IRS uh, has been um, taking small diners' money that they've kept, you know, in a bank and that they deposit uh, every day saying it's illegal to do that. It's not illegal. They just say it is. That's New York Times, by the way. The bill would now result in the arrest of anyone for any alleged crime whatsoever. And that will also apply to taxes. Well, yeah, that's what the, the TSA tried that two years ago to say you can't leave if the IRS says so. Warns the economist accusing the congressman of converting the TSA into a police force less concerned about air safety and focus more on catching anyone the government can argue violate some law, federal or state. And I love how this top economist is a smart guy, but hasn't studied this like I have every day, every waking hour, basically. I watch C-SPAN. This was the plan from the beginning. And it's not just in the airports. He, he's reading this bill thinking, oh, in the airports, this economist probably doesn't know they're already in every city. Mike Hansen called me from Gonzales. Uh, he used to be my uh, camera guy and did a lot of... Uh, video editing for me. He helped me after Buckley helped me the first few years. Mike helped me for a long time. And so Mike's grandfather died and gave him a bunch of houses and land and hotels in Gonzales, Texas, the birthplace of Texas, by the way. That's where Come and Take It comes from. And he called me up all out of breath yesterday and he, he's got audio of it and everything. I'm going to try to get him in here next week. He's about 80 miles away. And he said, my gosh, I was just at city council about some zoning stuff and um. They had five feds there, and they had a ceremony federalizing Gonzalez and saying they'll now run the department. And, and he said, you're going to run things? And they said, yes. And he put in a FOIA request, and they said it's cl basically classified, classified in local government. And the police chief called Mike aside because Mike's a big wheel in the town and said, uh, we can't have you doing this, Mike. And, and, and Mike said, excuse me? He goes, you understand me? You're not going to stop this. I mean, this country is just so gone, folks. This is happening everywhere. I mean, my God, we're being criminally taken over. And the DEA was there saying, you're all going to be rich. We're going to asset forfeiture seizure in your department, here in your city, and off this highway, and we're going to give 80% of the money to your local police. And that's been going on forever, but now they're publicly federalizing. And that's just a microcosm of what's happening in the macro. And the article just goes on. I mean, the, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm warning you. This is going on. This is happening. Where are the legislatures? Well, they're starting to move on. But that's why Texas three years ago said, you know what? You keep groping all our legislators and doing this. We're going to 
kick the TSA out, order the state police to start arresting you when you grab genitals. It is assault. We had prosecutors on from California starting to do the same thing. And Obama said, all right, F-16s are on standby. We're going to force down any aircraft that enter Texas. We're going to have a federal blockade. That was in USA Today like it was no big deal. The legislature says you're not going to grab people's genitals. And the feds say F-16s are standing by. Because the TSA is the center of their takeover. And the center of their federalization to create a whole new bureaucracy, a domestic security force, just as big, just as strong as our military, to quote Obama. And this is it. And understand, it transcends Obama. It's a larger blueprint announced within months of 9-11, but planned by the Rand Corporation and the hart Rudman Commission of the Council on Foreign Relations in 1999. That's in my films, Road to Tyranny and others, them saying it. I have the video of the Art Rubin Commission admitting they took the Rand Corporation plan for the domestic national police force, the national stabilization police force. I mean, do you understand, folks? They're doing this because they're going to take your pension funds. They're going to put a lot of people in forced labor. They're going to totally open the borders and make us a giant third world hell. I mean, it's on. Now, who are these people that are doing this? Well, here's the headline. U.S. considers declassifying report on Saudi funding of al-Qaeda. Well, the U.S. isn't doing it. See, they're spending it because Walter Jones is about to get enough votes, Republican North Carolina, to release this. So now the Obama administration is considering whether to declassify still secret sections of the congressional inquiry in the 9-11 attacks. And now Zacharias Mushawi has come out saying, yes, he worked for Saudi intelligence the so-called 20th hijacker. So they're trying to discredit it, saying even that dirty terrorist says it. It isn't the dirty terrorist. It's Senator Graham, the co-head of the 9-11 Commission, said the Saudis funded it and ran it, but our government stood down and let it happen. Of course they did. Of course they did. NORAD stood down. We have that from Panetta. Norman Panetta, the head of the transportation system. He was in the bunker with Cheney when the stand down was given. Cheney took NORAD shoot down powers away five weeks before and gave them back a week after. And they planned to fly Flight 93, ladies and gentlemen, into the Capitol. But the Air National Guard from the Dakotas on drill in Virginia flew into Pennsylvania and refused orders and fired the general refused orders. And I was told this by high level Pentagon. I was told this by Colonel Don DeGrand Prix, who was a famous CIA uh, black ops colonel, because that's who they use in the CIA to be an army colonel over huge operations. And uh, they killed him a couple weeks after he was on. He died of a heart attack two weeks after being on the show. And he, he'd been at the Pentagon, he talked to the people, and then later it, it came out, and it's on the air traffic tapes, they fired two AIM-9 Sidewinders into 93. There wasn't any let's roll, all that was meant to make you buy into it. The, 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 the Air Force National Guard shot down 93. That's why it had debris over eight miles and all the rest of it. They had all these fake debunking pieces. The state police saw the explosion, heard it all. I mean, you see that debris field, we know what happened. I, I mean, do people realize how many people come on this show, like the, the, the DC madam uh, or the head of New York Emergency Management, the deputy head, Barry Jennings and die within weeks of being on? People say, well, why are you still alive? Because I'm not, I'm not the focal point of where it's coming from. I'm the focal point with the information coming out, and now it's coming out everywhere else. So it makes it more obvious if they take me out. But they still could do it. I mean, I don't take any of this for granted. They've instead tried to assassinate my name, my character by building straw men and saying I said things I didn't say and, and other dirty tricks campaigns. But, but realize how important this broadcast is. This is real, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a game. This is not a joke. And we need other men and women that are in media to stop being cowards, like the CBS News reporter that exposed Fast and Furious. If we all don't start telling the truth, we're going to lose everything. You understand, it takes more courage not to fight this than to fight this. You just got to get up and do the right thing. 
And as more whistleblowers come out, as more people do the right thing in law enforcement, it doesn't matter, across the board, in corporate areas, this system will not be able to be converted into a tyranny. This is the key time where they're moving on every front now. And the enemy's exposed right now. They've emerged. Washington Examiner reports 64% of reporters say feds spying on their emails, calls, online searches. <clears throat> it's worse than that. They go in and plant stuff on people's computers, fake search histories, you name it. You can't believe anything comes out of the feds now. They're just that corrupt, just like the prostitute media. And Brian Williams is just that corrupt. But understand, folks, those of us that said 9-11 was a stand down, an inside job, it was. Senators and Congress people are on record, bipartisan. It's true. It came out. They couldn't hide it. The question is, how do they try to spin it now? Coming up, lawmakers do Obama, arm Ukraine. Do you understand how big a deal that is? Weird that we're friends. It's bizarre. Not name dropping, it's just bizarre. And long after he's gone and I'm gone, still in the Zen sense, I was alive, he was alive. We experienced this uh, world together. Just as we experience it with all of you, we are all bound together. It really is magic. There's a CNN piece, PSA, they're running that's anti-human that says that you know, Mother Nature could destroy us at any time. That's a nice cliche. I've starved species greater than you is the quote. We are of the earth, God's creation. And yes, humans have hurt things on the planet, but these PSAs only target humans and, and demonize humans is a problem, not some of the bad things we're doing like GMO. It's just humans are bad, period, so government can devalue us. That's all that's happening is the devaluing of human life. And if we devalue human life, we devalue everything. Because humans are clearly the greatest expression of God's mind on this planet. This planet is God's artwork. Nature doesn't need people. People need nature. We are nature. I was flipping around through a magazine. Mother Jones, there had a eugenics ad in it. I meant to take it, ask permission at the uh, haircutting place I was at. I meant to ask permission. I was also on the cover. It was the police state issue. Uh, the federalization of police, was, I think it was military cops was the headline. It had a demonization of me and Rand Paul on the cover. And I was going to ask for it, but forgot to. It had a eugenics ad in it. Maybe we can go out and find that magazine. I think it's a current issue. I think it's Warrior Cops is the headline. I'm already digressing. There's just so much information. I go down rabbit trails. We're going to be playing that PSA. We're going to get into the economy. Only 44% of U.S. adults are employed for 30 or more hours a week. Chinese rating agency warns coming crisis is worse than 2008. Blames U.S. printing press, but they're, 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 they're accelerating their printing press. New alarm bells over household debate as Canada faces downward spiral. That's out of the Globe and Mail. Gallup CEO says number of full-time jobs, a, per, a percent of population is slowest it's ever been, is worried he'll get fired or gone after by the government for admitting that because there's a cover-up. Is Russia planning a gold-based currency? That's just some of the news on the economy. Let's play that clip I just mentioned of Gallup poll CEO Jim Clifton fears he will suddenly disappear for exposing unemployment rates. See, because they've been ordered, you cover up, we're going into a depression. Here's the clip. I don't think that the government is misleading us at all. Oh, yeah. I think that the number that comes out of BLS and the uh, Department of Labor is very, very accurate. I need to make that very, very clear so I don't suddenly dis <laughs> disappear. I need to make it home tonight. So I you need don't to disappear? <laughs> Jeez, I mean, all right. We hope that no, wouldn't no. be a, a follow-up. Okay. Anyway, carry on. All right, so, but, let's stop right there. You can read the full transcript. Uh, he looks crazy when he's saying this because it's like Gibbs saying, I lied to you. There is a drone program, but you already know that. It's crazy. It's Wizard of Oz. Because <laughs> it's just no one, everyone's gut doesn't want to go with this. Just lying about everything. That's why all these reporters go, just out of the blue, yeah, I lied forever. I'd be fired. I'm sorry. And then the system, you know, goes, I mean... I need to be clear. These numbers we're getting are very, very accurate. <laughs> so I don't disappear tonight. <laughs> I 
I mean, all the top experts are on record. The numbers are totally phony across the board, just like Brian Williams is a phony, and Tom Brokaw's a phony, and Rachel Maddow's a phony. They're all a pack of lion trash scum. Visit GCNlive.com. Criminals today. preying on the American people. We'll be right back. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. Right. You're not even to discuss that it exists. Wow. And so I would get a question like that, and literally, I, I couldn't tell you what major asked, because once I figured out it was about the drone right. program, <laughs> I realized I'm not supposed to talk about wow. it. And, but here's what's inherently crazy about that proposition. You're being asked a question based on reporting of a program that exists. <laughs> right. So you're the official government spokesperson exactly. acting as if the entire program, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Right. Pay no attention, we're setting up a world government. Pay no attention to all the autistic kids. Pay no attention to 10,000 plus percent pediatric cancer increase from basically not existing to being epidemic. Just pay no attention to the death panels. Pay no attention to the increasing prices of health care. Pay no attention. Pay no attention. Pay no attention. Pay no attention to Alex Jones. I know nothing, nothing. <clears throat> That's what's so frustrating is this is not hard to figure out. But I guess I was a kid growing up that they let me watch TV on Saturday mornings and I could watch PBS documentaries on, you know, serious stuff and I guess they took me to the opera and the Shakespeare Theater, and I guess they did take me to Stanley Kubrick movies. I guess I didn't get the upbringing other people got. I guess I got kind of a snobby, hoity-toity one, but I went shooting and fishing and to boxing matches, too. My, my parents just exposed me to a lot of history and culture, and I guess the average person ha doesn't know that. I mean, because you've, if you've read 100 books on Adolf Hitler like I have or more, it's almost embarrassing. I probably read 200 <laughs> or more, more on World War II. I mean, you just know everything works. I mean, if you if you read a 700-page book on the SS like I've done, and it's so accurate off the Nuremberg trials, and then you see that we adopted all that, you just know how stuff works. Order of the Death said, read it twice. I just mentioned that because it's an easy, I mean, it's all about secret societies and this and that and this black op crew and how the British were funding this Nazi group. And I mean, and this is from the Nuremberg trials, okay? And then you got this childlike public that like, I watch NFL and got a Harley and I'm a man. I don't have to know nothing. Hey, I love Harleys and I love football, quite frankly. You want to get down to brass tacks. But that doesn't make a man. A man that does not make, if you said it in Yoda speak. Now let's go to this clip. I want to play the full one. He tongue-in-cheek says I could be disappeared, but he's throwing that out at people to tell them, hey, you know, you're not supposed to say this. And then he goes on to say, no, the, the numbers are totally fake. Uh, this is, again, the CEO of Gallup, Jim Clifton. Here it is. 
I don't think that the government is misleading us at all. I think that the number that comes out of BLS and the uh, Department of Labor is very, very accurate. I need to make that very, very clear so I don't suddenly dis <laughs> disappear. I need to make it home tonight. So I you don't disappear? Jeez. I mean, <laughs> all right. We hope that no, wouldn't no. be a, a follow-up. Okay. Anyway, carry on. <clears throat> but, no, our, uh, it, I think it's the way the number's being used. So, so Gallup analytic teams, they looked into, they were trying to figure out where the middle class was, looked into the GDP, and of course GDP, your, your audience is very astute, you know, it hasn't moved in five years. Yeah, blended rate of five years is about 2.2. So then we went to jobs, we said, well, I keep reading in, in, in good papers, the Wall Street Journal, the Financial <laughs> Times, and the president tells us that, un, that, that unemployment's the best it's been in 10 years. Okay, there's one side of it. Our concern with our analysts is that, 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 that it's very, very misleading because what America really wants are full-time jobs. Okay. 30 plus hours, but here's the, here's the point, the misleading point. The percent of full-time jobs in this country to the population is the worst it's been in 30 years. And, and although you have an astute audience, when you're at dinner, ask people about this. Nobody that's knows right. That they count number. people working two or three jobs as jobs against the general population. And then Obamacare kicked 20, 30, maybe 40 million off of their full time pay so people could avoid Obamacare. So you got to get two jobs. They call that a new job. I mean, it's just total horse manure from a pack of lion scum. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever it's important to stock up on high quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without silver bullet. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll free 888-253-3139. Silver bullet. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, we're here. The last hour was...
was just over the top how insane all the news is. General Mills starts pulling preservatives after an assault from the Food Babe Army. That's out of the Observer. And she always launches her operations here on this show. Great job to the listeners. British court throws out conviction of autism vaccine MD in Andrew Wakefield's co-author, uh, completely exonerated, and next it'll be Wakefield. So that, see, they always say, oh, the, the, the study that vaccines hurt kids is a hoax. No, it was a hoax that they were discredited. There's a whole bunch of other studies show the same thing. Continuing here, uh, the economy, every number, the Gallup is showing the real numbers that the economy is obviously in deep trouble globally. The Chinese, the Canadians, a bunch of other governments are saying just brace for serious global crisis, much bigger than 2008. I don't know how long they can push this off, but it is a big deal. We're going to be breaking that down. Huge news, as Obama says, he's considering before Congress passes a law releasing the 28 secret pages of the 9-11 report showing a federal government stand down by NORAD and the Saudi Arabian government funding the operations. Now that's in Reuters. I know you've heard this thousands of times here, but now it's mainstream news. I know you heard it a year ago from Walter Jones when nobody was co-sponsoring his bill. He was on a week and a half ago. He is now about to have enough sponsors to pass it. They are very embarrassed. So now I predict Obama will come out and say they want a partial declassification to kill the movement to release the whole thing. And they're going to try to just make it about Saudi Arabia. Oh, am I going to get apologies from uh, all these radio hosts and, and Fox News and CNN people that go, Alex Jones is a 9-11 truther and he thinks the firefighters blew up the World Trade Center. That's what they say. I never said that. Because when I say government, they go, you mean the cops? You mean the, and I go, no, I mean high level government. There was a stand down at NORAD. That's on record. Read the 9 11 report. Oh, I, 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 shut up. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're saying radical Islam doesn't exist. Uh, no, actually, it does. Our government's funding it, Al Qaeda and ISIS in protecting them. Uh, shut up, truther. Just shut up. That's the games, the mind games they play. There it is in Reuters. Here it is in the New York Times. Yep, boom. Another one we're going to get to uh, towards the end of the hour with our guest, Stan Deo. I've starved species greater than you. CNN airs creepy anti-human PSA. We're going to get to that. Uh, we're also going to get uh, into the new domestic army where no judge, no jury, no indictment. The TSA will just not let you travel or disappear you in a new bill that's being called by economists and law scholars just, just North Korea. I mean, it is North Korea. Uh, lawmakers to Obama, arm Ukraine now. S see, notice everything I've been warning about since 9-11, 14 years is now starting to unfold. Because they said they would make the TSA a domestic ground force to just disappear people. Now it's happening. Uh, lawmakers to Obama, arm Ukraine now. That means war with Russia. Um, the president uh, of Ukraine uh, it says if it escalates, Ukraine to declare martial law. <sighs> I mean, this is just... Jordan Mole's ground campaign against ISIS, mulling a quick strike lightning blow against terror group. Uh, as U.S. troops begin to deploy to the region to fight the group armed by our own military. I mean, this is just insane. Brian Williams, NBC News bosses are hanging him out to dry as the headline. Tom Brokaw is just as big a liar. Uh, but I guess it's okay to lie for the government or criminal elements. Just don't lie about yourself. Or just don't get caught. Uh, I predict he will resign. I predict he will resign because he's destroyed. I mean, how will they believe all the other lies he spews and um, obfuscations and omissions and manipulations once he's destroyed? I mean, he's no longer a good. And these thieves, they steal truth. They cover it up with lies. They are the cowardly and despicable American prostitutes. That's the headline on Infowars.com. A new story by Kit Daniels. Global debt nears $200 trillion. Governments, households in more debt than before Great Depression. Now, the $200 trillion is current real debt owed by governments and by people and corporations. The fake debt, the derivatives that the bankers created that they then manage as a black hole to control countries that they get to sign on to it, is $2,000 trillion. 
I am plagiarizing Rush Limbaugh when I do that. I remember listening in high school to Rush Limbaugh. I'm 41. That gives you an idea how long Rush Limbaugh's been on air. And just love this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sitting here laughing about all this. It's gallows humor. You know, they say imitation is the greatest sincere form of flattery. I now tune in to the mainline conservative talk show host, and I hear my talking points that are just truth. My talking points are basic maxims of understanding that I've come up with, uh, you know, that I've developed historically with analysis, and I just hear it all. I mean, I'm winning. You're winning. We're winning. And it's very exciting. We're going to have him up in the near future to break down Saudi Arabia and other big issues that he covers at his website. Uh, but today we're just going to focus on earthquakes, seismic events, and geopolitical operations. Stan Deo is really an amazing individual. I'm not going to go over his engineering background, working in secret uh, top security clearance operations with the FBI and uh, with other federal agencies. Uh, he's developed solar-related uh, systems for Earth's climate. He's in, been involved in a lot of Tesla-type research. Um, he's done a lot of marine uh, projects in marine architecture that are classified, uh, advanced propulsion engineering. But what he really does, he's known for, is accurately with um, unorthodox systems predict seismic activity. And he's on record on his website and here last year predicting a lot of new seismic activities across the United States in areas that's not traditionally. New York, Oklahoma, Texas. I got a headline here. In fact, it's in my stack uh, they had earthquakes up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area again um, just in the last day. Like, I know it's here in my stack, but I'll never find it, guys. Just Here it is. Here, yeah, yeah, this is in Oklahoma. Swarm of earthquakes strike parts of northern Oklahoma, but even again up in north Texas, they've had some tremors. What's going on? A swarm of earthquakes has shaken parts of Alfalfa County in northern Oklahoma. The U.S. Geological Survey says four earthquakes have been recorded, and these are big ones. Uh, for that area of the country around Cherokee and Helena since late Wednesday, including a magnitude 4.3 quake with five miles east-northwest of Cherokee at 9.08 a.m. The Sheriff's Department uh, has, has been reporting that there's been some other quakes as well. Uh, let, I want to go to our guest to talk about this uh, and to break down uh, how he basically predicts these and what he thinks is causing it. Is it the pole moving? We know it's been moving at rapid rates and may even move faster. Uh, what's going on with Yellowstone? Is there really, because I've read this and talked to some folks that say it is there, that most U.S. Geological Survey seismologists are fully government funded. And or they work at a university that's government funded. And they've been told if you say anything alarming, which we saw a few years ago about the Yellowstone could be getting ready to go, that you'll be fired or never see the light of day again. Stan, is that true, A, and then B, just, just give us what you think is most important first off. Well, Alex, as far as uh, what the, the muzzle is on the USGS, that has been a matter of public record, oh gosh, probably five years ago. But um, I have had a chance to talk to a couple of witnesses that were actually at Yellowstone, and uh, when when people were told the geologist to keep their mouth shut or they would be fined or imprisoned, and that was probably two years ago that I uh, got the phone calls to uh, tell me about that. That's right, and they use the argument, don't they, that, well, this is government equipment, and so this is classified, even though it's not a classified agency. Uh, yeah, look, they even told the truck drivers that were bringing the equipment in. They weren't even USGS personnel don't you talk they made him sign the little non-disclosure agreement you know fine or and or imprisonment um and look uh, the, the data i got from one uh, geologist there that actually is one of those that was told to be quiet and pass the information out through uh, friends uh, is this um they are monitoring all kinds of sites that they're not showing on the usgs um, earthquake plot for Yellowstone. And there is so much data being gathered out of Yellowstone uh, by the government at the moment that they're having to use a supercomputer just to analyze the data from, you know, second to second to try to forecast as best they can when there will be an event there. And whether it's a major eruption or whether it's a magma flow or a, a toxic gas release, all those are important to consider and to prepare for. But 
you know as well as I do, with the internet like it is, with the spread of news and rumors, uh, a lot of the times without people fact-checking, that should a hint of this come from official sources, it could create panic and hurt the economy even farther. You know, <laughs> I don't know how much farther you can go. The well, White for those House that don't know, uh, the AP and others have reported USGS says earthquake hazard greater than previously thought. So, I mean, this is being admitted, but as you said, they then muzzled them. Well, look, you know, I've said this uh, with you before, Alex. Uh, if we play the game where, say, you or I were in charge of the country and uh, we wanted to uh, protect the country and its people and the people from each other, if we were to come out and say the end of the world is coming tomorrow, we think, but we're not sure, then as an official announcement, people would panic. They would go out uh, shooting each other, rioting, and that kind of stuff, looting. If we announced the possibility, not from the White House, but from unofficial leaks that occur across the country, then these leaks are picked up by people who watch the news and watch for behind the scenes colors, you know, what's happening, and they spread it through the community slowly without causing panic. Now, I think you and I would do that uh, to, to keep the infrastructure intact in case we're wrong, because, you know, even with supercomputers, you can't really accurately forecast earthquakes and volcanoes to the minute the What's day. What's the best science on the last three big eruptions? In fact, guys, you can search um, last Yellowstone super eruptions and then they go back over the thousands of years uh, and the hundreds of thousands and millions of years and it shows the uh, areas, I mean, usually it covers more than half the country uh, and changes the climate for a long period of time. What are the estimates on what the eruption uh, w would be like this time and how bad could it be? Well, they've been revising their thoughts on it, uh, that it might not be 600,000 years between eruptions. There might be a 1,000-year a window and that sort of thing. So they're, they're being very flexible between 1,000 and 600,000 years for the next one. But they do all agree that we're in the zone now for another eruption statistically from Yellowstone. And now, how many super volcanoes are there on the Earth? Because it couldn't just be this one going off. No, there's there's this one. There's uh, another undersea one. Um, uh, gee, I can't remember which ocean it's in, but there's there, the third one is in North Island, New Zealand at Lake Taupo. And we've been watching that too. Um, in fact, a number of people have. It's, it's going to be so big that uh, it's the Yellowstone of the Southern Hemisphere. I think the other one is in the Northern Hemisphere under the sea somewhere. And I, I think it's Iceland, that. isn't it? Yeah, we won't. We well, Iceland, cert Iceland certainly doing some wonderful things as far as magma and, and volcanoes. Iceland's actually raising up out of the uh, the seabed because the ice pack that covers uh, the uh, the, gla the glaciers that cover the volcanoes there is melting. So Iceland is starting to rise up. And you can see more magma activity uh, along that whole long fissure in the Atlantic Ridge that goes underneath Iceland. Yeah, and they're blaming so, yeah. it on global warming when the volcanologists know it's because of the magma. Well, well, yeah. And, and the other thing is, why is the northern uh, pole region, why is that warming up and melting ice like rapidly in Greenland and Iceland? And yet the South Pole is gaining ice. Now, that's not a global phenomenon. It is the transfer of electricity in the Earth system from the South Pole up to the North Pole, transferring the heat from the South Pole up to the North Pole, warming the North Pole there, but cooling and the I've South Pole. And I've talked to astrophysicists, or, you know, we've got multiple degrees, and they say that is indeed what's happening. And NASA admits the pole starting to move. Is that connected? Yes. Uh, in fact, NASA did release last year really high-resolution images of the magnetic fields inside the Earth, and they show in the northern hemisphere two north poles and two south poles down here underneath it. And that tells us that the north and south pole is really two sets that are splitting and rotating at the moment. Um, and, and this is a pole reversal, a magnetic pole reversal, and that is generating part of the, the climate changes we're seeing all over the world. Now, expanding on that, I'm looking at your breakdowns, I'm looking at the USGS, I'm looking at the Japanese numbers. I'm just a layman, not an expert like you, but, but clearly isn't volcanic activity and seismic activity exponentially increasing right now? 
Well, it certainly is increasing. Uh, I haven't uh, plotted the, to see whether it's exponential, but it's rapidly increasing. Uh, we get notices here, Holly and I, daily, uh, you know, by the hour from USGS. And over the last few weeks, we just noted uh, lots and lots of earthquakes all over the planet, uh, more than we would normally see. So, yes, uh, it is rapidly uh, increasing in numbers. Now, I remember you were on about a year ago, and you said you thought there'd be more seismic activity in places that hadn't been. You talked about the fault line through Oklahoma and, and, and uh, into uh, Missouri and other areas. We don't have the staff or the crew to go back and pull that. I know it's on your site. You did say that. Why were you predicting this increased seismic activity? Because now it's happening right where you said it would, but also in New York and Illinois. I mean, what's going on? Well, what I uh, use to, to kind of guesstimate uh, what would be happening rapidly is the fact that there were a lot of um, sinkholes all over the planet appearing. And these, uh, to me, uh, it fits in with my hypothesis that the Earth is expanding again. It, it has expanded uh, before uh, by uh, as much as 25% of its old diameter. Now it's starting to stretch the surface and put increasing pressures on tectonic plates particularly in the United States. And if you can, I don't know whether you can push a button with your producer can, but if you go to my uh, website, to the show images page at the top row, right in the middle, I've got today's snap of the USGS plot of earthquakes in Oklahoma. We'll put it up, standeo.com, D-E-Y-O, standeo.com. We'll put that on screen. Go ahead. Okay. And so what it does is that in the middle row at the top, it shows the earthquakes today. Uh, sorry about that. It's okay. That have come come down from Oklahoma down through Dallas and down underneath San Antonio. And if you look at that uh, that image I've got there, it shows that there is some kind of a geological formation that seems to, uh, the earthquake seem to be following that line. And so then if you look at the next picture on the top row on the right, which is a geographic map of Texas, you'll see uh, I've drawn a yellow line with a black outline showing where those earthquakes have been happening in Texas. It's right you know, down the fault line, and that right fault line fault goes line. right through Austin, Texas. In fact, I'm sitting right in the middle of it right now. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that whole area connects to uh, an area over into the New Madrid fault line. Um, if you go to the second row, first picture, where it says New Madrid fault region, and uh, go on there to... I'm just going to tell you which line to go to. One, two, three. Uh, this one shows it the best, I think. Click on the third line, first picture, which has kind of a white line, diagonal line cutting through it. And it, it shows um, the the shaded area on East Texas, right up into the New Madrid. It's all kind of connected in that weak part of the of where the United States should have split when the continents were splitting, but it didn't quite do it. And New Madrid is a leftover of that. But I saw that if we keep stretching that, that it would create stresses along the edge of that um, that plain, that coastal plain that goes up uh, toward Dallas and Austin. Uh, and that's that's exactly what's happening. Uh, there is a... There is a um, mm, uh, a safe zone, kind of a shield, if you wish, that um, if you, uh, I'm just trying to see if I've got that, or I, don't, I don't have that map up there at the moment, I don't think, but anyway, this shield is a line showing where earthquakes occur from the edge of Canada, you know, on the west side, all the way to the east side, down into the Oklahoma region, and that is called a shield. And uh, inside that area, north of that area, there's not many earthquakes, but south, east, and west of that, toward the coastal regions, there is. And that's what uh, I used to kind of forecast what I thought would be happening here in the United States. Um, Break that yeah. down, because you did... Uh, uh predict that and, and and now it's happening what do you think is going to come next now well i think that we may see some more earthquakes uh, start to form from oklahoma city eastward toward little rock arkansas into the new madrid fault line somewhere in that weakness area there in fact if you look at that middle picture uh, at the top row uh, of the, uh, the the main page the show images page you'll see a lighter region which shows a depression in the, the landform of the United States coming from Oklahoma City over toward Little Rock. And there is a fault line there that's not been very active, but I suspect that that will be an area we will see some earthquakes here in the next few months. As Boy, Oklahoma has there. just seen, it looks like a hundred. How many? That looks like a lot. That's a lot of points. 
Well, yeah, and that we think is due primarily to fracking, where they're injecting water into gas and oil wells, um, you know, to to bring it back up to the surface. And we we do that here in Colorado as well. But they're doing they're doing so much here that I suspect that what they're trying to do is relieve seismic pressure in smaller amounts in that region to avoid a massive earthquake. Uh, you know, where the pressure builds up and doesn't release until it's too big. Uh, now, I know the Israelis different. patented systems to use explosives, they believe, with computer models to stop earthquakes. That's but right. That's right. Can you tell us about that? Well, I actually uh, was in the middle of one of those over in West Australia uh, years ago, back in the late 70s. Uh, at that time, I was seeing classified uh, telexes or, you know, coming from Pine Gap. But um, it, the United States sent a team over to Western Australia, north of Perth, into the mining fields to start detonating along minor fault lines with TNT. They, they had the teams out doing it. They were tributary fault lines to a major fault line that ran from uh, up the coast above Perth down through Perth. And they were predicting a 7.5 to 8 uh, Richter earthquake in that area, which would shake Perth to the ground because most of its buildings had not been built to earthquake code before 78. Now, to, uh, to mitigate that, they were, they were relieving the pressure on the main fault line by blasting the smaller ones and letting the pressure equalize out. Now, the Israelis have come up with a better system, as I understand. They drill, I, I don't they? I, I think they do go down deeper, yeah. No. And uh, because when you're, when you're blasting at the surface, it's not as good as getting down, you know, like um, a kilometer or so, to, so the shock wave does what you want it to. Amazing. It's so fascinating, not just from the perspective of, ooh, this is scary. We're on a planet in space with molten lava just a couple miles under us. I mean, it's just so amazing. We'll be back with Stan Deo. I'm Alex Jones. StanDeo.com. We're at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Spread the word. This is important. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com, oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. 
the government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. The Lonely Sea The Lonely Sea It never stops Coming up in the third hour, we're going to have open phones on any issue you want to discuss. Long-time callers, first-time callers, people can call in with their vaccine damage stories. Or if you love vaccines, uh, you're welcome to call in. I'll take a lot of calls in the third hour and get to a bunch of economic news that I've scratched the surface on, politics news. They want to start war with Russia even more. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Stan Deo is our guest. I want to get his take on things that are geopolitically happening right now uh, as well after he finishes up with earthquakes. But we got to get him on more than once a year. Stan Deo is a really interesting, really informative guy. StanDeo.com. We're going to go back to him here in just a moment. First off, um, I was thinking about the month of February. And we've got super male vitality, super female vitality. It's not a herbal Viagra. I mean, we don't advertise it as that. But obviously, they've got estrogen mimickers uh, in a lot of the food, a lot of the plastics. We're being bombarded with it. This stuff was designed by Dr. Group, cold pressed, the purest ingredients, I think it's 16 ingredients in the male, I think it's 18 in the female, that just supercharge your normal glands. This does not mimic testosterone or other key compounds. It simply gets your body to release it, according to Dr. Group's research. All I know is it works like a charm. Back when I was uh, playing football some in high school and in college, I never took any illegal stuff, but I went to GNC and got some of the herbal Yohimbi and stuff, and it made me get a little bit bigger, but made me feel crazy and feel terrible and have hot flashes. So I never stayed on that stuff more than like a week. Super male, I can just take twice a day, just I, more energy, I'm more aggressive, I feel great, uh, my libido's off the chart, and I mean, off, I mean I'm worse than I was when I was 18. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. And... Similar formulas that aren't as good cost $100. This cost uh, half of that. And then you got 20% off in the month of February on super male and super female vitality. The perfect gift on Valentine's Day. We could ship this out in a day or two if you order it. So we can, uh, you know, order it. You'll get it for Valentine's Day or, or order it. And, you know, uh, but it, it's not about the libido situation. That just goes with it. It's the energy. It's, uh, I've lost weight. Uh, I've got more stamina. I'm just in a great mood. And I've never run into anything herbal that does anything like this. And it's because we don't put the cheap trash in there that just increases testosterone. It, it doesn't do that or mimics it. These herbs just get your body to, just get your glands excited. I'll, I'll t and there's nothing like the real thing. There's nothing like good old-fashioned real stuff that's in you. Infowarslife.com, 20% off. We also uh, have the special where you can get a bottle of Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Booster that's got just a whole bunch of well-known herbs that supercharge uh, the body's own natural immunities. But these are also high-quality but low-price ones. So we can offer it uh, for $14.95, even though leading competitors are $30 to $40 to $50 for something similar. $14.95 for a high-quality but good value product. Or get two bottles of Survival Shield Nascent Iodine X2 and get a free bottle of Ancient Defense to try it out absolutely free. And during these winter months, folks are crazy if they don't try to boost their immune system with vitamin C, sunlight, 
uh, having a good time, having a good attitude, praying, all the studies show that, uh, getting your guts flushed out, getting that healthy with the Oxy Powder, available at InfoWarsLife.com. And I want to thank you all for your support. When you buy these products, you're not just getting high-quality products at very affordable competitive prices. Uh, you are funding a savage operation. I mean, I'm just not going to pull punches. I'm crazed. I hate tyrants. I'm kind of natural. I mean, you read back to folks that fought King George or people that fought other tyrants. I mean, they were more crazed than I am. I'm, I'm a wimp compared to these people. I mean, they were so angry, they'd haul guns 100 miles through the snow with no, with no shoes with a trail of blood behind them. Because back then, shoes, you know, broke down and slush. They were leather-bottomed. I mean, I couldn't do that. I mean, I, so, so I'm nothing compared to our ancestors. And compared to most people, I'm a crazed Tasmanian, you know, devil or something. Well, no, I'm not. I'm into interesting things. I want freedom. I want to sell people high-quality products because I'm a moral person. But not, if I was immoral, I'd want it to be the best stuff out there. So you keep buying it. I can't believe, I'm going to go back to our guest, now in the last 10 years being into supplements and, 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 and working with Longevity because they are a high-quality, trusted company with InfoWarsHealth.com, and then finally coming out with my own line, that, that there are so few other really reputable groups out there. I go to these biggest manufacturers that have, you know, high-quality stuff that we can get, and they say, we've never seen anyone put this much high-quality stuff in something like DNA Force. I mean, we love what you're doing, but you're just beyond the quality of anything we've ever heard with what you're doing. Most of these big names, slick bottles, beautiful models, you know, national TV ads, They'll put like a dollar worth of product in a bottle that costs 30 something cents and then spend $5 a bottle on marketing and sell it to you for 50 bucks. DNA Force has over $50 of product in each bottle. And then we mark it up. The average stuff, we average have about a 50 to 100% markup. The average, the industry standard is a seven fold markup, seven times. That's crazy. So that's why we're the best. We are the best. I only promise you the best. Infowarslife.com. That's why we're turning heads big time. You can also call to ask any questions or order over the phone. 888-253-3139. Uh, you can, uh, again, go to standao.com and find out about all of his very interesting work in black projects and more. But Stan, thanks for being on the hold during that break and plug. Let's go. And, and, of course, people can find all your books as well there and a lot more. But before we go any further... Let's get back into earthquakes, hit the most important points. I've asked a lot of the questions now. You kind of cover some of the other areas of what's happening with the Earth's um, crust, what's happening inside of it, the pole shift, all of these things uh, that are just out of this world but are really happening. And then let's get into your view. Geopolitically, it seems like all hell's breaking loose. And I, and I know you're a smart guy and have a lot of contacts on that front. What's happening? Stand day up. Okay, first on the earthquake situation, while we were having the break there, I uploaded an image of something I think you, you and your listeners will find very, very interesting. It's on the fracking sites in the United States, a map published uh, by the industry April last year. Fourth row from the bottom on the right-hand side, it says fracking USA. And if you click on that map, all the green dots you see are where they are fracking into oil wells or gas uh, wells, etc. And when you look at the earthquakes today through Dallas down through San Antonio and beyond, you will see that to the right of that, they are fracking the heck out of it all the way over into Louisiana. And up at Oklahoma City, you will see they've started, not, not only they got fracking all around Oklahoma City and north of it, you will see that there is a finger of fracking going out to the right through Arkansas, just like I was telling about along that fault line, right into the New Madrid fault line. And in West Texas, there's a whole cluster out there. Don't know why they're doing that so much uh, unless it is for oil and gas. But these others in the in the plains of Texas, the coastal plain region, and in Louisiana, you know, and uh, part of Mississippi, that tells you that they're... they're they're taking a great risk pulling it out there because those are very uh, uh, well laced areas with fault lines because of various activities. And by the way, five years ago, I heard you on Coast to Coast AM. I'm, I'm not tooting your horn. It's just no brag, just fact. I heard you with George Norrie saying you believed fracking was connected to earthquakes. Now, top scientists agree in the last year, we have an ABC News headline uh, that uh, fracking is connected to the earthquakes in Texas. 
Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, it's uh, it's a, a minor victory to to be saying that. I'm sure that that uh, the geologists knew it at the time, but it took this long for them to be able to say it publicly, I think, without getting in too much trouble. I interrupted. Please continue. OK, well, that, that's all. I, I just wanted to show you that on that fracking map that it's quite interesting that they're doing it on fault lines uh, and certainly the, the coastal plains of uh, Texas uh, and into Louisiana, Mississippi. These were all lowered and damaged by the Chicxulub meteor impact in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, long, long time ago which shoved up shockwaves up into Texas. So it already is a weak area. And I just, uh, you know, I don't know whether they're weighing their, their, their need for the gas and oil from those fields against uh, uh, trying to avoid any subsidence or earthquakes in the area. I just don't know. But that map, when I look at it, it just uh, stands out in your face that there's something big going on in those areas. Anyway, that's that's earthquakes. Uh, what are other hot areas in the world or in the United States for seismic activity? Well, uh, we have, um, let's see here. Let me see if I can just pull it up. Alaska, of course, is, is always ongoing. Um, the one that I watch the most is right up near Eureka, California, off the coast. There's a long ridge that comes in out of the North Pacific. It's called the Mendocino Ridge or fault line, but it's a ridge. And as it joins into California at Eureka, it's at the very foot of something called the Juan de Fuca Plate. And people, geologists, have been watching this for years in comparison to all of the other fault line locations around the entire Pacific Rim, you know, the Ring of Fire. And the only area that has built up this much pressure uh, you know, here at uh, like, like a Richter 9 or plus earthquake is right here at the foot where the Mendocino Ridge comes into Eureka. And this is what you said last year is this is the only area in this big ring of fire that hasn't yet triggered. That's right. It's over 55 years overdue uh, by their estimates. And so that there alone tells you that, oh, uh, maybe they're not quite that accurate. So it's a guess. And it is. And I, in their defense, it is the best guess they can make. What would happen if it fully triggered? We're talking about an, uh, an eight, a nine? Yeah, you are talking about a nine. And... Uh, that would produce tsunamis along the coast there. Of course, uh, it, would, it would hit Japan later, uh, you know, a few days And we've later. been so blessed. People go, oh, that'll never happen here. I know folks that have been in some of these LA earthquakes that are a lot, lot smaller where highways collapse, hundreds die. Uh, I mean, folks, how many hundreds of thousands died in the tsunamis a decade ago or, or, or less, I guess, eight, nine years ago? Uh, people, I mean, this is happening all over the world. We've been very blessed not to be hit by what's hit Pakistan and Iraq and Iran and uh, all these other countries that just get devastated. I mean, I've seen numbers of hundreds of thousands getting killed in earthquakes in places like Pakistan. You know, Alex, you chose the word blessed, uh, and I, I do agree. Uh, it is by the blessing of our Creator, God, uh, that we uh, have been uh, spared these things. But when we pull away from God like we're doing now, due to the administration, you know, and all the changes they've made, uh, we can expect these things to fall upon us like judgments. You know, it, it's the blessing is being removed, I'm sure. You know, it is really true historically that when governments do really bad things, e even the pagans believe that if the government got real bad, that, that, that you know, they'd have earthquakes and volcanoes and all the rest of it. And uh, you know, the Bible says that, and people always poo-poo it. Uh, I just know that uh, it's uh, pretty interesting what's happening right now. Well, let's watch what happens in the Middle East. We can segue from here to politics, because if the United States is heavily involved, which it is, in the... the uh, partitioning, the dividing of Israel for a peace treaty between, you know, Palestine and Israel and, uh, you, know, you know, the rest of the Arab nations. If it is divided, we can expect our country physically to be divided by earthquakes and damaging you know, geological events like volcanoes, etc. You're saying yeah. because that's in Revelations or Daniel? Or you, you no, I'm just saying we've, we've observed that, that uh, whenever we do something to hurt Israel, uh, something of um, uh, a measured response comes from God to our country, you know, a proportionate response. So wait for it. When we hurt Israel, we're going to get hurt. And this administration, I'm, gosh, I, I tell you what, if you go to the, uh, the my show image page, second row down, right in the middle, I have a picture of Patrick Stewart, you know, Captain Kirk in the, in the uh, movie they made, um, Star Trek First Contact. And he's saying there, this far and no farther, you know, they draw the line. And that's like in the Alamo, you know, the, 
the line must be drawn here. We have got to stop this administration. Somehow, we must draw that line now. And I, I can't... I can't stress that enough. Well, there is. I mean, even for folks that don't like some of the things Israel's up to sometimes, they're different governments. Yeah. What's yeah. going on with arming all the radical Islamists, turning them loose all over Africa, the Middle East, trying to overthrow Egypt, and then, and then, and then criticizing Israel? I mean, that is what the White House has been doing. That's just insane. Well, the White House is uh, funding, um, you know, uh, the enemies of Israel, and uh, uh, even though... You say that there are good Muslims and then there are terrorist radical Muslims. When you fund those countries, it funds the radical segment more than it does the, the, the people, the Muslims of those countries that really just average everyday people. In Iran, we have to watch what the administration here does with funding uh, Qasem Soleimani, General Soleimani. That's Solomon in the, their local language. Because he is moving against ISIS and is therefore, quote unquote, a friend of the United States because the enemy, my enemy, is, is my friend. And so the United States is helping Iran, Qasim, uh, Qasim uh, Soleimani, against ISIS. And everybody's supposed to applaud when ISIS gets crunched. And I think they'll get crunched. And the, the guy in the Middle East, the military genius that will do this and is doing it, is General Qasim Soleimani. And so America's funding of those activities there and in Africa, uh, it, you know, it allegedly is to get rid of ISIS, but it is a betrayal of the United States. Well, there's got to be a larger master plan because criminals in our government and in NATO helped arm the Syrian Free Army, which basically is ISIS now. Saudi Arabia is involved funding it, too, but claims they're fighting it. There's a double game going on here from my view. What do you think? Oh, yeah, look, this is a chess move, and it's not the final play at all. But the reason I chose that picture from um, Star Trek of Captain Kirk saying, you know, this far, no farther, he was referring to an invasion from off-world by aliens onto the, United, onto the, the, uh, the, the world to conquer humanity, you know, and to enslave it. And I think the end game, look, further than we are right now at local politics, look at the global picture, and I've said this time and time again for decades now, we are going to have an official uh, meeting, uh, release, um, you know, announcement of friendly aliens coming to Earth with super technology. And this is according to biblical prophecy as well. And this is what well, we've you do before. see the Pope and others coming out saying they think there's other life forms out there and all the Hollywood movies. Now, there's a Project Bluebeam to have fake alien landings. Uh, but, I mean, you're saying you think the end game is something like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going toward a global dictatorship, but it will be like the movie, uh, the, the miniseries V that uh, Kenneth Johnson uh, produced in the mid-70s. The friendlies come looking like humans with their spaceships, park all over the major cities. They have ships that are a mile wide, you know, just hanging in the air over cities. And our, our scientists are kind of just, you know, dumbfounded. This is impossible, but there it is. And they come in peace, they say. We mean you no harm. We will give you cures for cancer and energy and this and that. So people suck it up. And now then, you know that they, they had uh, human skins over reptilian bodies. It well, I know deception. Hillary probably is actually a demonic 14-foot <laughs> Easter bunny underneath her. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know the elite running things act like they're aliens from deep space come to enslave us. I know that. It's kind of a, instead of taking a power nap, I'll listen to a couple of songs. A little classical music, a little George Strait, a little Great White. Standao.com, our guest. We're going to be back up soon on his political worldview of what's really going on. But he just hit the hardcore issue. Why is it when somebody, an engineer or scientist, says, hey, this is demonic, you know, that's what's happening, people are like, oh, that's kooky, that's weird. But wait, 80% of America, 82% says they're Christian, believe in a God and the devil. Well, we're on a planet in space. Who is the devil? What is the devil that wants to kill, steal, and destroy and become God and mutate the genetics of the planet? Everything the Bible says, but it's not taught in the churches because they're basically government-run now. We're seeing prophecies fulfilled and look, if you're an atheist and don't believe in spiritual things and other dimensions, which mathematics has proven, and Einstein went from being an atheist to being, you know, someone who believed there was a God, because how can you do these equations and then not see the fingerprints there? But there's also a spirit of evil. But even in a Carl Jungian way, 
there are archetypes, and humans build a satanic archetype that always ends in giant black pyramids with human sacrifice. And every ancient culture believed all this was going on. I don't go there because people won't believe there's FEMA camps when I have the congressional documents. Uh, so they're not going to get into other things that are fantastical. But clearly, folks, we're not in Kansas anymore, and we never were. We're two-thirds of the way out on the spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. And so, Stan, next time you come on, we'll get you into the heavier, more esoteric stuff. But the elite do believe, at Skull and Bones, they believe they're worshiping angels, goddesses, from space. Uh, that's been in New York Times best-selling books by people that broke in there, basically. Uh, they don't call the Bushes crazy for worshiping entities. At Bohemian Grove, they were worshiping entities when I was there. So whether they're space aliens, entities, whatever, or even if they're not real, our elite believe they're real, but you're saying they may fake this as the great delusion that we're biblically told about. Absolutely. They're going to come as the good guys when the Bible says, beware the first lot coming as messengers of light. That's almost a literal translation. We got a few so, minutes in this segment, one more five minute segment with you. Get, I mean, get into some of your larger view because you, you've been accurate predicting earthquakes. You're a smart guy, did a lot of secret operations that have been documented. I mean, what, uh, what, what made you form this cosmology uh, just researching it? Well, yes. Back in 1969, I fell ill with a, a bacterial infection that nearly killed me. In fact, I had the out-of-body near-death experience. And after I came back into my body from that, I had a lot of stuff in my mind that uh, told me to eventually write the book, The Cosmic Conspiracy, to expose this, this great deception. By the way, that was a super now. worldwide bestseller. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. How Still many copies selling. of that did you sell? Well, I last count a couple years ago, a quarter of a million copies, which is just for, for an amateur guy, that's a lot of books. Well, nobody and got picked up and put into other serials and things. I just know it was in magazines, you name it. Yep, We're going to come yep. right back. I'm going to have you back up soon for a full hour on the Cosmic Conspiracy, uh, your view on that. Um, that's a book I heard Bob Dylan likes. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. Government cover-ups. You want answers? You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now. And now. Live from Austin, right, Texas. I'm wound up today. Your Alex calls are Jones. coming up in the next segment on your vaccine stories. Day three of that. You love them. You hate them. You disagree with me. You had bad reactions, great reactions. I want to hear from you. 800-259-9231. 800 259 800-259-9231. Going back to Stan Deo, Stan, uh, finishing up, give us a little preview of what you're going to cover next time you're on. Well, I suppose the most important thing will be the uh, developing situation in the Middle East and how it would uh, 
potentially relate to announcing the alien presence here. I, I know that uh, for years, uh, a number of us, you know, in the radio industry here and in the uh, news industry have poo-pooed the idea of UFOs and aliens, and anybody that talked about that for real should be wearing a little tinfoil hat, you know. But now that things are becoming quite intense in the world, just as I predicted in the Cosmic Conspiracy and in the, in the TV shows, I'll be talking about why the, 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 the world events are going where they are. Move ahead a bunch of chess moves from where we are now. And uh, I want to warn people in a long discussion saying, look, here's what you watch for and here's what to avoid. And I base a lot of that on what's in the biblical prophecies about this time. They have been so accurate and are, are becoming even more accurate now, happening in before our eyes, that it's going to be easy for me to point people to this and say, here's what you do do, and here's what you don't do if you want to get through this and, as the Bible says, have everlasting life. You know, uh, Colonel Craig Roberts, good friend of mine, I want to get him back on. He died of cancer, uh, t surgery and colon cancer for, for 10 minutes. I mean, you, right. you know, unless you're putting ice, there's no way you're going to come back from that. He came back from that, had the whole experience of the portal, the angel, uh, the, a decision being made. He was given all the data sent back. And there's yeah. even mainline, as you know, studies and reports, government reports. We can do a whole show on this where people uh, who aren't even Christians, who are in African tribes or, or who are in New Guinea, when they die and come back, it's the same thing. This is real. I mean, this is going on. Absolutely. What I, happened to you briefly when you died? Well, I, I, I left the body. I shot through the roof in my room and uh, out into a very uh, smooth, velvet-like darkness. And off to my right, as I was moving through this darkness toward a light way out there, off to my right, there were a bunch of like little theaterettes, uh, like maybe 50, 60, even 100, uh, all showing events in my life up to that point where I had hurt someone by actions or deed. And then they would go a little bit further showing how that affected that person's life down the road. It was kind of like judging myself. And as I was moving through this silky darkness, pieces of me seemed to be washed out by this invisible fluid like, like dirt clots, and they would fall behind me in a puff of smoke. And I would notice I was losing a, a negative emotion like greed or hate, et cetera, et cetera. So, you were being sanctified? Well, I was I was sitting in judgment, uh, you know, nodding my head, saying, "Yeah, okay, I did that." That you know, I wasn't embarrassed or anything. I was just looking analytically at the things I'd done wrong, what it had happened, what it had caused, and I even got to see a little bit into the future. And then when that all stopped, and I was, you know, uh, able to just think without watching all those screens at once, which I could do easily at that point. My mind was bigger, and I could know about the universe. And I said, "Well, how does it work? And how do flying saucers work? And all kinds of questions." But when I squeezed back into my body, it was like getting into a tiny little shoe and pieces of what I had learned out there seemed to drop off the side. It was fragments. Yeah, and they came back later in dream states over the next, you know, probably seven to ten years. Well, that's the same universal thing going back thousands of years since writing was invented. And, and same thing with Roberts. He was in a dark room and the angel had his hand on him. He was like just being instantly shown all the good things he'd done, bad things he's done. And, there was, and it was like... And then the decision was made, just like, you know, in the movie, send you back, back. It's just unbelievable. Right. It's so real. Right. It is. It really is. We live outside the body. It's amazing. And the, and the enemy knows that and tries to keep us from ever being aware of it. Standeo.com. We'll talk to you soon, sir. Thanks, Alex. Night, night. Or, Thanks for all the time. Good well, afternoon. I know sorry. you're usually on at night. Yeah. All right. There yeah. goes Standeo. Coming back with your phone call. Stay with us. Cells become toxic, they die early, and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.
The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. What disaster is so powerful, it unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time? NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst case scenario unravels. That's D A R K E S T D A Y S dot I N F O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at infowarslife.com now infowarslife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives now more than ever it's important to stock up on high quality silver bullet from infowarslife.com no survival chest is complete without silver bullet secure your silver bullet today at infowarslife.com or by calling toll free 888-253-3139 silver bullet from the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. We have a powerful report filed for InfoWars Nightly News last night by Leanne McAdoo on how immigration will affect American life. It's about four and a half minutes long. We'll air that at the bottom of the hour. I do have politics stack I want to get into. U.S. news, science and tech is very important today. This is all just crazy. Schwarzenegger saying he will terminate climate change uh, with the global tags. And it was five years ago that he went to the Copenhagen Denmark event. And he said, if we cannot get it past the U.N., then we will simply get it past the city by city, state by state. We will accept the carbon taxes that, that I'm invested in. <laughs> My people are weak. I want to I love Hitler. I want to be a god. These are quotes. <coughs> you know, he even admitted to Rolling Stone, because I, I made a documentary that he's a little part of, so I did research on him, that he would go up to black people at the gym and say blacks are dumb and subhuman and I'll kick your ass. Man, if he walked up to me, I don't care if the guy's a big roid head, I'd stomp his head in the ground, man. I'm serious. I've taken on people as big as Schwarzenegger back when I was 20 years old, 18. I mean, I'm not bragging saying I'm tough. I just can't believe people put up with this guy's crap. I'm sick of him. Anti-gun, pro-abortion, open border promoting, sack of Nazi pus. Oh, he said he admired Hitler and dressed up in Nazi uniforms. I mean, he's a fruit, man. He wears a Nazi belt buckle on the cover of Rolling Stone. Everybody's too stupid to see it. Don't get me off of my Schwarzenegger thing. Like, I shouldn't sit up here and say I'll beat up Arnold Schwarzenegger. All, all I know is, is the guy's a coward. And the guy is un-American. And the guy, it makes me sick. And I will not pay him money. He's part of the carbon trading companies. I guess Californians already are. So there's no end to these people. It's like Brian Williams. I can't stand him. I can't stand Obama. I can't stand these lying pieces of crap. 
it's like they got out the governor they had there, and I was supportive of the recall, but not for Schwarzenegger. Blaming him for Enron connections when Schwarzenegger was involved with Enron. People are stupid and helpless. I love to control them. It's that enjoying that people are dumb and he can prey on them. He's, he's a psychopath. But you know what? Everybody I know doesn't like Schwarzenegger. He's a washed up nobody. And he'll get his from God. So I shouldn't go off on a jag screaming about Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm just saying that I'm surprised, but I know he was the big star. Somebody stand up to him. But it, it, it's just to, 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 to hear about this guy and the things he did, it's just another example of these bullies getting away with whatever they want to do. And I am tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these cowards having their way with people. I'm sick of them preying on people. I'm tired of good men laying down to these people. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy today. I'm sorry. I blew off working out. I've been working out like an hour in the morning real intensely. And uh, finally got in good enough shape to do power clings, deadlifts, things like that. And uh, I didn't work out this morning. And I went and ate breakfast instead after the kids went to school. And because uh, I've got them out of homeschooling right now going to a, a, a prep academy doing really good homeschooling was good but they're getting older and want the socialization and um well i'm telling the story right now so when i now when i don't work out i have more energy and i'm even more crazed but it's the working out that's making me crazed so i need to keep doing the working out but then it just sometimes gets a little bit out of control because here's what happens i tell you on this show what i'm thinking there's not a filter here and that's what people tune in and put up with me. But uh, sometimes it's a little out of control, and I apologize. <sighs> I want to play this because it's all about why they're forcing inoculations on us, the social engineering. Then we'll go to Bob, Carl, Gordon, Tessa, Ken, and others here on this live worldwide Friday edition of the Alex Jones Show that I call Alex Jones Live. But... Ted Anderson, 18 years ago, said, no, we're not going to call it InfoWars Live. We're going to call it Alex Jones because the stations need to have a name set over and over again so it gets written in the Arbitron ratings. So that's why it's always the Rush Limbaugh show, the Glenn Beck program, the Alex Jones show, the, the, the Sean Hannity program, the, the Michael Savage radio show. It's not that people want to have their name out there over and over again. It's that it has to be done for the ratings. So Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. But uh, that's how that works. Let's go to this piece. You can see the video up on InfoWars.com. We'll play the audio here for radio listeners. I've starved species greater than you. That's what her voice ought to be like. I'm Satan, the spirit of the destroyer that is destroying the planet with genetic engineering, mutilating God's creation and vandalizing the human species, the creator's greatest creation in his image. And my plan is to sell you on destroying yourself and your family and loving death and turning off your survival mechanism and destroying your family so the state and the computer robot age can corner every last one of you and slowly suck the life force out of you into the black of deep space that should be the voiceover for this stinking ad instead it's an npr voice some call me nature julia roberts others call me mother others nature. call me mother my name is I've really been Satan. here for over four and a half billion years. Well, however long you've been here, we're of 22, that. 22,500 times longer than you. Longer than us? I don't really us? need people. Bull. But people need me. Humans are obviously older than this planet. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. Not of this world. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. Hit pause. I mean, they show a glacier sloughing off from the first Viking text written over a thousand years ago about the glaciers. It's how in the summers they collapse. It snows 
during the winter and it piles up and then when it gets hot the glaciers move and melt and slough off it's always going on but they play on people's ignorance i mean this is so sick another lecturing voice real slow i'm your mother but mommy talks about starving us later let's go back to the clip but i've been here for eons i've been here i for have eons. fed species greater than you oh really and i have starved species greater than you good pause these people are so weak they're into all this eugenic stuff because they're, they're they're powerless and they hate humanity because they're they're they don't see themselves as dominant, so so they get together in these death cults to then pull down people greater than them. And that's why they're like, I've starved species greater than you. Oh, yeah, what's the species greater than us? I didn't see Tyrannosaurus Rex sending spaceships uh, into orbit or coming up with mathematics. I mean, shut up. Shut your murderous fat mouth, you pig. Here's the issue. They've taught people that love life to lay down and be cowardly. That's over. You understand that, scum? You're not turning our life force off. You're not flipping ourselves the destruct switch. <sighs> the spirit of liberty is rising, filth. We're going to warn people about the vaccines you hope everybody takes so everybody's mentally retarded and bumbling around so you can have your way with us. You can give us all your genetic disorders. Not going to happen, filth. We're going to show everybody what you've done. We're aware of your operation. Your operation's blown. Go back to the clip. My oceans. My soil. My flowing streams. My forests. Mine. 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 They all can take you. Can take you. Or leave you. Or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter. Back it up 20 seconds. What you do doesn't really matter. I'll win in the end. This is the cliche we always hear. We're of this planet. But if you believe the Bible, made in the image of the creator who's not of this world. And that's what most of the genetic engineers and elites now believe. Time Magazine, Reuters, you name it. They go, actually, life was brought here. Humans were probably engineered. Blah, blah, blah. But it's not what this Bible said that turned out to be accurate, written thousands of years ago. As if there's nothing to learn from one of the most ancient texts on the planet that matches up with other ancient texts. It's not like the Bible said, it's like Prometheus said. But see, it's about you feeling guilty and now the government will, will represent Mother Earth and she'll decide who starves and who lives. So you need to feel guilty and live real poor. We're going to genetically engineer and dump all the stuff and hurt the Earth. It's just humans that are bad, period, because the, the, this system is of the spirit that hates humanity. I love humanity. I want to defend humanity. I want to be a defender of humanity. I know I will die, but I want people to go forward and build great things, and I have a sense of pride in that and a love of those unborn. I don't mean unborn they're killing today of the 55 million they've capped in the last 40 years. I'm talking about what we are to become in the master plan. And let me tell you, the master plan isn't what you hunchback New World Order people are pushing. And by hunchback, I'm not attacking somebody that's hunchback. I mean spiritually. You people are not beautifully spiritual. You people ain't pretty. I can see your soul. Let's go more to this witch speaking. My oceans. Mine. My soil. Mine, not your earth. Mine. My flowing Mine. stream. Mine. Mine. They all can take you or leave this you. Is, this is David Rockefeller garbage. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter to me. No, it doesn't. Mm. One way or the other. Or the other. Your actions will determine your fate. Not your me. fate. I am nature. I will go on. Oh, really? I am prepared to evolve. The message is, do what we say or be destroyed. Nature doesn't need people. People need nature. That's saying government doesn't need you. 
hunters, That's anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Year after year, we watched the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify. And Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including... Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it, and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense. When an emergency happens, you could be left to fend for yourself and your family. An outbreak of contagious disease can happen anywhere. Because we're faced with more diseases than ever before, we need a better solution than ever before. Fortunately, there is a simple, effective way to protect yourself. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. And it's powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is effective against more than 500 different disease-causing pathogens without encouraging drug resistance and without side effects. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported and is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the code SILVER2015 for 30% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. Faketv.com. Babe, that is the American people. It's General Mills to pull dangerous preservatives. Boom! Humanity stood up, had another victory. But the problem is, we don't stand up enough. The only way we can still really vote and really get results is with our dollars. That's why the globalists want to shut down the small farms, the small ranches, the co ops, the Amish, the swap meets, the little markets, the girls with the lemonade stands is because that's the enemy. They end normal human activity. They break up the family. The Borg wins. Basically, we're fighting the Borg. Whether you believe it's deep space, space aliens, the devil, whatever, I, I don't get into all that. 
The elite say they're building a Borg world. It was like in Reuters yesterday and a bunch of places that top scientists met and said the elite are funding them to merge their brains with machines to live forever. And Peter Thiel's in the news saying, I'm going to live forever. All of them. It's all they talk about. They're on a power trip. And they've decided we're not going to get access to all this if they actually develop it. And to make sure you don't compete with them, they call us bad sons. You ever had a crepe myrtle tree or an oak tree in your yard and little trees pop up around it and the gardener kills them or you cut them? That's the real eugenics. And their argument is if you're stupid enough to take vaccines... And if you're stupid enough to eat GMO and preservatives and fast food, you deserve to be brain damaged and die. But they pass a cosmic line when they come out and they say, it's the law, you will take it. And it's safe and effective. They're basically coming with guns to kill us. It's, it goes into territory that we're not talking about not being violent anymore. And I'm not planning anything violent myself, I want to be clear, but you want to shoot me up with stuff that's known to brain damage people and known to hurt people in a large percentage of the time? And the insert says it, but you're lying? Well, you know what? They don't do forced inoculation last time I checked in North Korea. Nobody does it. Nobody. Except the military. Nobody. This is a big deal. We're taking your phone calls, Bob, Carl, Gordon, Tessa, Ken, and others. Uh, let's go to Tessa in Texas. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Um, I'm a Christian and a pastor's wife, and I've been dealing with this issue for quite some time. I actually only recently uh, started listening to you probably maybe a year and a half ago because, I, I, quite frankly, I had my head in the sand as well until my brother talked to me about a few things. Anyway... Um, see, that's good news. Your I brother helped, 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 helped get you to open your eyes and then wake up. He didn't tell you what to believe. He got you to think. Exactly. And so um, I just find it interesting, all the stuff that you're talking about today, because this week I've been ranting all week to my husband at how the church is so closed-minded and closed, um, have their ears closed to hearing the truth of the reality of what's going on today, and half of the problem is, is they're so focused on the coming of Jesus that they will not link the coming of Jesus with today's reality of what's going on. Well, absolutely, um, and, 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 and people aren't, you aren't going to be able to save people if you don't explain to them about the, the devilish system we're in. We're going to lose everybody, but instead they just say, no, we're going to hide the church till the end of the world. I mean, this is crazy. Right, and that's that's what's bugging me. And then I talk to people about things, and they think I'm absolutely crazy. Um, and so I just, even today, I got on Facebook. I ranted on Facebook. I call them my rant. But I was starting to put up different things that the, the new world order is trying to do to open people's eyes to the fact that it's going on right now. And um, it's such a deception in the church. And so I think the only way that I can just encourage uh, Christians out there to really talk to people is to dig up the facts about the population control and different things like that and link them with, you know, Second uh, Timothy, link them with Matthew 24, link them with Revelation, and really come at it that way, because I think that's the only way you don't, that we're going to be able to um, really open their eyes to what's going on. You're right. Look, the church has been pretty much government run in this country for about 80 years. That's why we got Roe v. Wade through. I mean, 1973, right. they said, we're going to start killing babies. Uh, and so nobody's safe. Um, the veterans aren't safe. Nobody's safe. And look, the average person at a church is there because they're scared. They've got some discernment. They know there's trouble. They're hiding in the closet. Well, we're not three-year-olds hiding in the closet because this globalist boogeyman is real. And the only way you're going to defeat it is admitting it's real and getting your heart right. Because beyond physically dealing with it, people need to know that they need to admit the evils going on to get their heart right. If they're living in a delusion, they're going to accept the next delusion that comes to take the chip, which is already starting in Europe. They're making people get chips to have jobs. That was BBC last week. I mean, it's here. And they, and they teach Romans 13 in these churches, do what government says. That's not what it says. And so people got a choice to make. The great delusion is coming. And folks better get their heart right. Uh, God bless you. But uh, they're doing that because they're scared. They don't want to hear from you because they feel powerless. So I'd move on to folks that want to fight. We're on the mark.
Just another sign that the dinosaur media is on its last leg. And now there's a growing storm. Drudge Report has the headline over Katrina Tales, where he claimed he saw dead bodies floating by his hotel, and they got satellite photos and video. There was no flooding at all around his hotel, as if they would put somebody like him in harm's way. I mean, it's just unbelievable. People said that Chris Kyle was lying about them wanting snipers to shoot people at Katrina. We actually broke that. And Chris Kyle, that was true. And Chris Kyle did refuse to shoot looters from a distance. But it wasn't looters. They were shooting people trying to walk out on the bridge. They were keeping people in the city and making them go to the Superdome. I, just a side issue. And I'm not defending Chris Kyle. I just try to find out the truth. I try to report the truth. Doesn't mean I'm always accurate, but I try to be. I certainly don't claim that I was shot down in a helicopter. <sighs> in fact, I don't tell people half the stuff I did because it just doesn't sound believable. Truth is really stranger than fiction. I'm going to hurry through your calls. I want to go to a lot of them than Leanne McAdoo's report. Uh, we got callers calling in on a bunch of issues, vaccines, earthquakes. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Bob in Texas on the earthquakes increasing. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, you need to back off that uh, DNA or that uh, male force. You're going into orbit. Well, I'm, I'm not taking more, but I'm telling you, it does craze me. It really, but it does, there's no, I don't ever have a side effect from it. It's like unbelievably delicious. Yeah, well, I, I got to get some of that stuff. I could use it. I'm 62. Listen, well, look uh, out. I mean, it took me about a year and a half. I would only take half the dose. Now I built a tolerance and probably take more than I should, but it's, it's, it's real. I mean, it's not a game. It's something else. That's all I got to tell you. Well, then I'll have to get myself a harem, too, then, I guess. No, no, not for that, for working out and being healthy. Uh, well, anyway, uh, speaking about Stan Deo, it's all right to talk about his uh, presentation. Buddy, we don't we don't screen what you say. We only get your name and where okay. you're calling from. Well, I, I've called before on this subject, and uh, Stan Deo cleared the path for me today. Uh, he was talking about the panic and chaos that would ensue if people knew that there was a, a natural calamity coming. And uh, I had mentioned before that uh, it appears to me from my research and other people who uh, validate it is that uh, they actually created global terrorism to get us under control because they know a big disaster is coming, a natural calamity. And they couldn't tell us that because of the chaos, as Stan Deo said, would ensue. So they concocted the global terrorism to get us under control, take our rights away, and then force us into getting these vaccines, which are probably a binary weapon that will be used in conjunction to reduce well, the we know Well, we know there's social engineering chemicals in them and that they're hurting us. But, yes, there's a lot of evidence that, 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 that there's a binary nature to a lot of it. Well, I guess you're aware that the sun, part of what Stan Deo is talking about, that the sun has gone into a quiescent period, and a fellow named John... Uh, John uh, Casey, uh, who's backed up by uh, PhDs and incontrovertible evidence he's gained over, I guess, 30, 40 years, that we are going back into an ice age, and that's going to cause the eruption of these super volcanoes, like Stan Dale was talking about. That's why they're monitoring them. And that uh, uh, basically my point is, is that the terrorism was concocted as a cover to get us under control. In no, I hear you. Here's why I disagree with that. I mean, I mean, they want control for a lot of reasons, including natural disasters, but it almost becomes a cover story, an excuse, and I appreciate your call. And I'm not disagreeing with you in total, but they're targeting nuclear families and small farms and ranches and people that want to be prepared and small independent solar power and wind power. If you have solar, they want it in the grid. They're targeting people being self-sufficient. If they knew there was going to be giant tectonic stuff and major cities destroyed and, and you know, they could kill a billion people or whatever in a breakdown, um, they would be pushing and giving tax incentives to get ready. The elite are building bunkers, are building hardened redoubts, running for the hills. It's because they're engineering a global collapse that, that they get all the wealth and then come in and buy everything up. And out of that crisis... Carbon taxes and we're, oh my gosh, people are poor. We need a world government with $100 trillion taxes every 10 years to fix it. Oh, you're in a depression, Greece. We'll put you under our control and double your taxes <laughs> to get the rich people when they're giving it to themselves. So this is just a giant rape operation going on at one level with a bunch of mercenary corporate people. But up top at Bohemian Grove and Skull and Bones, 
it's a bunch of weirdo Lucifer worshipers, uh, and I'm not attacking gay people, but I mean, that's just what goes on. It's a bunch of rich Republicans and Democrats and world leaders having gay sex and believing they're going to merge the machines and live forever. I mean, that's just what's going on. You want to get to the bottom of the rabbit hole, that's what's happening. I mean, that's just it. These people are nuts. And they fly in the female hookers, too. I mean, uh, but that's just, I'm telling you what they do, what they're into, what they're... And they, th I mean, what was the, it was in a bunch of headlines yesterday because they were announcing at Davos. Last week, it was remote control mosquitoes that forcibly inject you, you know, with vaccines or take your DNA. And then, and then a couple of days ago, it was, yes, we're going to merge with machines and live forever. Well, you can go to Endgame like two plus hours into it. It's, it's near the end. Guys, it's on YouTube. Try to find it towards the end. It's, it's, it's when you see the infinity sign as they warp to the universe. And I'm reading quotes where they're going to merge with machines and live forever. And I've been attacked in the New York Times. You name it for that. Of course, because that was eight years ago. See, I'm proven right again. But I was quoting them there. That's why they want to give you vaccines. To hurt you, to dumb you down, to medicalize you, to put you into their system. Period. That does not mean you couldn't take vaccines and get some benefit from them if they weren't jacking them. It's real simple. It'd be like if some guy sold rotten milk on purpose, tainted, and it killed people, and we said, don't buy his milk. And people be like, why are you against milk? Uh, you, you, what, you don't like milk? And I'm like, no, that milk's bad. Comprende? Like, I'm not against gin. But bathtub gin isn't really gin. It has a bunch of chemicals in it. It'll make you go blind sometimes. It'll kill you and make your kidneys fail. So, so I'm like, don't drink that bathtub gin. How dare you, you teetotaler, tell me not to have a drink. I'm like, no, no, not, not that. That's not gin. That, that's, come on. That's really bad alcohol brewed in a bathtub. It's really toxic. You don't want it to. See, medical tyranny happens in every culture over and over again. The Nazis, the Soviets used it. We're here repeating history. It's a no-brainer. They've got bills to put TSA on the streets and not let you travel or have a job if you haven't done what they say. I mean, this is it. Can't buy or sell without TSA approval. Can't have the national ID card. Have we heard of this? You should have every preacher in your town should be talking about this. But let me tell you, the FBI comes to their offices. The feds come to their offices. If you've got over 400 people in your church, unless they're speaking out against this, and that's a minority of churches, all the real churches are speaking out against this, and there's probably 10% out there doing it. There's a few churches in Austin doing it. But if they're not doing it, they're in InfraGuard. They're in clergy response team. They're probably getting money. We know they get money, but some of them don't get the money. They just get, like, some federal funds for vans or TVs or whatever. I mean, these are – and they are on power trips while they've got their little ID card, their little FBI ID card, their little FEMA ID card in there. They go to their weekly meetings or monthly meetings and pull into the federal building and feel real powerful. They're like the mayor in Red Dawn who thinks he's really cool selling out the people in the town. I mean, these people – don't even know what traitors they are because it's America's the good government. America's run by the good guys. And, well, they're in a Homeland Security meeting. And, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and when they're first recruited in, they're given good missions. They're given reasonable things. We're just looking for security because extremists might try to attack your church. We don't think it's a target, but it's just good for us to have a, li a liaison with you. And here's some Al-Qaeda training videos. Look for any Muslim extremists. Blah, 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 you know. And then next, it's like, uh, I mean, and they turn them into CIA PSYOP wagons. Uh, I mean, they've got expert psychologists in these things. They get people's wives and husbands to break up. Uh, they go in and try to get women to break up with their husbands and then loot their money. I mean, they're basically mainline churches today are what you hear the media say Scientology does. The mega churches are the most predatory, mind control, viciously hateful, satanic. Some of these TV preachers are so evil, I can almost see horns and tails on them spiritually when I'm looking at them. I mean, I can't look at it. I got to turn it off. You understand? Because I start screaming and yelling. Because it's so ragingly demonic. I'm, I apologize. I said I take a lot of calls and I'm not doing it. I did it yesterday, the day before. I'm just a horrible person. Carl in Washington, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you loud and clear, baby. Okay, I got a uh, comment on what you're talking about now, and then I got a big question for you. Uh, comment is, is 
these same people that are overtaxing us and taking our Second Amendment rights away and everything, these are the same people that want to stick some stuff in your body. And the same not, people that I'm shot blacks up with syphilis, the same people that want to abort your babies, the same people that say they want more death and get rid of humanity and run PSAs with a woman going, I'm the earth, I'm going to kill you. They want you to take a shot because they love you. Obviously, no. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, they're not putting anything in my body. Uh, that's right. You can go to hell. And, and that's another thing. The GMO, they're putting it in us, and the, the fluoride. So they, we say that, but they are hitting us. So we've got to do whatever it takes to avoid it. Sorry. Sorry. I hear I hear you. Uh, on the Facebook last night, a uh, big deal hit, hit the fan there. And uh, they said that uh, Irvin, Texas, accepted Sharia law. And I saw one of the big networks had a video clip on it, so I'm assuming it's for real. Say that again? One of the networks had uh, had a piece on it also, so I'm assuming that Sharia law in uh, urban Texas has been accepted. Well, yeah. I mean, what's happening is Muslims have their culture. We've given up our culture, Christian culture, Americana culture, so we have no culture on average. We're plastic rewritable discs that just do whatever the TV says. I mean, if you're a mainline person. And so any outside culture that's still intact will take over an empty culture. So we've been made empty to be dominated, but then outside cultures come in uh, and then they begin to dominate because, I mean, we put up with anything in this country. Uh, and so, yeah, radical Islam is then able to intimidate other Muslims into following it as well. And it's taking over. You, you can debate Islam all day long. You can debate anything. But undoubtedly, radical Islam is on the march right out of Saudi Arabia. Might as well be the Eye of Sauron over there in the Temple of Mount Doom. The Mountain of Power. That's false doom. But um, I'm mixing my metaphors there. Is there a dagger from my back in her hand? Now I'm quoting Max von Sydow, but uh, yes, sir, interesting point. Anything else? No, that was, that was it. All right, God bless you. You too. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Ken in Seattle. Ken, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Um, I got a quick question. I saw you guys had an article on this, but I don't think there's been anything on the show about it. I was wondering if you guys were going to follow up any on the creator, uh, the main creator, I guess there's two guys involved, of the Grey State Project, the movie, uh, that he was apparently found in a murder-suicide. Yeah, with, with his, his wife and child, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I think know I did tell the TV people, we've covered it, to, to reach out to them, and I don't know if we've had any effect on that. I know Joe Biggs has been talking to them, uh, and they were going to release the ben film. Swan, on Go ahead. Ben Swan is... I know Ben Swan's been on top of it. I don't well, know good if for him. him on. And um, I, I think I heard something about jo uh, Josh Stone maybe trying to pick up the project and move forward with it. So Sean Stone? Mind. Yeah, Sean Stone. Sorry. All right. Well, you know, her, getting involved with people's movies and their own productions like Herd and Cats. So I don't usually get involved in other people's productions because I can't even hardly get my own done. And I got a great well, crew. Of course but, of course, as, as would, would be suspected, of course, you know, a lot of people are pretty much uh, thinking that this was some kind of a hit, you know, like a disguise as a murder-suicide. Yeah, that yeah, happens. That's one of their favorite ways right to kill people because they demonize who they set up when they do it. And that undoubtedly goes on. Uh, but if you expand on that and, you know, really look at all the different angles of what's involved here, um, I think that film needs to come out. I mean, I was the guy that did crowdfunding sourcing for him, even though I wasn't part of the film. Most people, they come to talk shows and say, when you do crowdfunding for us, you've got, you know, you're, you're given a position in the film. I have people on here crowdfunding and do not take positions. People contact me and go, we want to give you a position. And I go, no, nope. if I like what you're doing, I'll just have you on and promote it. And if my listeners like it, then, then they'll support what you're doing. Uh, but then I have other people reaching out saying, you've got to finish it now. You've got to help them. And it's kind of like, oh, I'm the guy that helped him get the money to start making it. No. So uh, I just I just can't even mind my own shop, so I'm not going to be able to try to get that done. But I will reach out to those folks and uh, maybe get them on the broadcast. But then we did reach out to them, and then it became an argument with their people about showing clips of it. And I'm just like, you know what? Just, fine. Go do whatever you want. Uh, I, I can't investigate everything. I can't cover everything. I can't deal with everything. All I can do is read the inserts to vaccines saying they can give you diabetes, 
Guillain-Barre, neurological disorders, permanent convulsions, and uh, you know, epilepsy uh, kill you. It's just, you know, they want to force you to take things that can kill you. They're now announcing it's mandatory, even though it's not mandatory, to create a foregone conclusion, Borg, you will be assimilated, mind control. And I'm totally freaking out, and I'm totally upset, I'm totally angry, so I'm just engaging in some flippancy here. I appreciate your call. Gordon in Canada, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hello, Canada. Alex, I heard you on George Norrie last night. It was a fantastic piece. Well, thank you, brother. Okay, Alex, there's something, something has shifted up here in Canada in the last few days. They are going on a full court press for against what they've labeled as these anti-vaxxers. There's just uh, from the government, the media, healthcare officials. There is a global there. intimidation bullying push worldwide from Africa to Canada, from Germany to Japan to force the slaves to take the shots. But there's something palpable in the air. Like it's, they keep hammering on this uh, measles outbreak in Disneyland. Alex, this week, two young people in Nova Scotia died mysteriously of meningitis. Nobody's talking about that. You know the why they're doing it? Because they've it. got vaccines that are killing people. They've got thousands that have already died last year and going into this month and last month uh, from this, quote, a bizarre neurological disorder. It's polio, and they're almost all kids that were just vaccinated. So, yes, there's a huge vaccine death thing going on, like the swine flu death epidemic vaccine in the 70s, and they're covering it up with a double-down push that vaccines are perfect and never hurt anybody. It's, it's definitely a push. It's like they have a mysterious deadline, and they're, they're going for it. And it's not just people with extreme views who are being attacked, because they're telling us if your kid is not vaccinated, now he's not going to be able to go to school. And that's a lie. It's They've moderate. not changed your law. The waivers are all there. This is their push. Yes, this is it. This is a full-on war by a pack of liars like Brian Williams. They're a pack of lion scum that hate you and your family. They are enemies. Realize that. Bloodthirsty rats. Attention Alex Jones listeners, when you're on the road or have limited data or Wi-Fi, now you can listen to Alex Jones unfiltered and untapped at no extra charge on this non-federal phone number, 1-605-562-5136. Try it now to listen to Alex Jones 24-7 at no extra cost or data charges. These are not on federal lines. These are lines located on Indian reservations off the grid. Call 1-605-562-5136. No smartphones or internet needed. To hear Alex Jones untapped and off the grid, just call 1-605-562-5136. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hey, guess what? They've got some great deals for Valentine's Day at Guns80.com. They're calling it the Sweetheart Special. Guns80.com has lowered the price way down to 400 bucks up until Valentine's Day. Order your Ghost AR-15 now. Tell your sweetheart that this is the right gift at the right time. Buy one for yourself. Buy one for your sweetheart, too. Your sweetheart will thank you for being so tuned in to his or her needs. Get a brand new Ghost AR-15 right now for 400 bucks. Heck, buy two. His and hers. Go to guns80.com or call and ask for the sweetheart deal. Love is in the air at guns80.com. Call now, 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. It's a sweetheart of a deal. Actually, it's a steal at 400 bucks. So call guns80.com at 844-2-GUNS-80. But hurry, supplies are limited. Call 844-2-GUNS-80 or get your Ghost AR-15 today at guns80.com on the web. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. 
Before using heart and body extract, my energy level was very, very low. I could only walk a few feet and then would have to sit down. I was tired and lethargic. But after taking heart and body extract, my energy level has improved greatly, and I can now walk longer distances without getting tired so fast. Thank you, heart and body extract. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Truth is stranger than fiction. I'm getting a bunch of calls about Islam and Sharia law in Texas. And there's some internet news stories about it. Yeah, there's some mosques that have some of their own little courts, but it's not legally binding and they're not locking anybody up. And, uh, and that's just going to go on. Uh, and that's not what people have to worry about. They worry about Al-Qaeda or ISIS being led in to attack us so the government can then legitimize taking more freedoms. But we'll discuss it nevertheless. Just I want to talk about vaccines mainly, so we're talking about Sharia law, but that's okay. Uh, David in Atlanta, Georgia, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Good to hear from you. Or, uh, glad to have my call on the air. Um, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to call in and say thank you so much for being here. And uh, Please don't thank me, brother. About. Don't thank me. What's your view well, on vaccines? I, I, I try to stay away from them as much as possible. Um, as soon as I heard that they were putting mercury in there, it was Brought up a big red flag. Well, that's uh, kind of racist. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, try not to be racist, but if they want to call me that, whatever. Well, but, I'm being uh, sarcastic. Yeah, it's like, I don't <laughs> want Obamacare. You're racist. I don't turn my guns on. You're racist. It just shows how mindless it is, how they just use that. Uh, look, it's about free choice. It's about not having to take. And look, they, they claim we're going to make people sick, but they've already had the vaccine. And then yep. there's no studies on herd immunity. It's just total bull. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, uh, quickly, I, my brother actually had a, uh, it was a chicken pox vaccination when we were kids, and my mom's not a confrontational per person. She's kind of said, you know, I'd rather not give it to him, but then they ended up pushing her on it. Uh, he got it, and, and just a couple days later, he had chicken pox worse than anybody had ever seen. And, I mean, he had them in his mouth. Um, you know, it, it was horrible, and he has skin problems today. I mean, this has been oh, yeah. years later. I know a lot of so people I'm, have had those different you know, vaccines and pus drips out of where they shoot them up for decades. Yep. Then they get a big juicy cancer there. But again, uh, Brian Williams has said they're totally safe and effective, and there's never been a problem with any vaccine, even though the insert says it can kill you. This doesn't exist. Yep. I mean, this pack of liars is going to try to bully us now, and you're taking hundreds of shots? No, no, no. No, I completely agree. And, you know, if they said that cyanide was safe to put in vaccines, people would be taking it. Um, one other quick thing, if you don't mind, um, about this uh, partial birth abortion. There's a video, if you can find it online, um, that actually shows the procedure. And I have never been so angry. Yeah, about I've seen the videos before uh, years ago. Yes. I can't watch it. It's unbelievable. It, uh, I have never been so angry. And, and the things that we do to our own children is just is horrible. So yeah, well, those are my two things. Brian Williams said it's not a human, so and he's a hero. So black peacock down. Uh, we've, got, we've got a graphic up on Infowars.com. Uh, thank you, David. Uh, let's talk to Matt in California. Matt wants to talk about vaccines. Go ahead, Matt. Yes, uh, this is Matt, and I called the other day and spoke with David Knight <clears throat> about the vaccine. Oh, you're the one that calls like people rednecks? Make... You're redneck. Yes. NPR. Do you listen to NPR a lot? Listen, let me make my point without being threatened with a gun. <laughs> and Threatened with a gun? You, oh, you, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. said, well, that's, that's your, you people, that's your answer for everything. Better have a gun. Better have a gun. Well, do you really <laughs> think that you'll be able to stand up against the might of the United Nations armies when they come in? It's going to come to that. We have not been able to move this country forward for 200 years because of people like you. All and, right, you're being fake. And I've had it. Troll alert. Just admit you're a troll. I am not a troll. You just can't believe that people disagree with you, Joan. That's your problem, isn't it? All right, listen. What is your real name, Lord Keebler? No, listen. I want to tell you that you people, look, we kicked your God out of this country. What do you think we're going to do when it comes to you? <laughs>
Hold on, stay right there. I can see when this guy walks on the road, he goes, eh, 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 eh. We'll be right back in overdrive. Infowars.com. See you this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, Central, Central. Telemundo. Muchas gracias. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. Follow. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Skip bayonets. Fix bayonets. We are All right, we'll skip this intro. I want to go uh, back to your calls. That guy was a troll earlier, I guarantee you, and he hung up. He gave up. Maybe he was real. I mean, I've run into simpering people like him, but usually they can't talk. The people that signed the petitions, you know, to put all gun owners in forced labor camps, they're like, yeah, they are troublemakers. I feel kind of powerful talking about slave camps. I'm so liberal. Uh, let's go to Bill in Illinois. Bill, you're on the air. Go ahead. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, that, that last caller, why, why does he call in and listen to your show? If he doesn't like what you do or talk about. Because he is a simpering maggot. <laughs> well, I just want to give you a call. I was watching Fox News the other night. I just I watched that to, to remind me how bad that news actually is. Bill O'Reilly, believe it or not. And uh, he actually had Jesse Ventura on there. He was on there with the interview with Alan Combs on the, the radio the other day. Oh, good. And why do they demonize him so bad? I, don't, I, I just don't get it. I mean, he, he makes more sense than you do. Than, than any of these idiots on Fox. Well, O'Reilly. they hate Ventura because because he wouldn't be for the war. They had to pay out a six million dollar contract, or was it nine million at MSNBC? And I don't agree with all of Ventura's politics, but he's the real deal. I mean, he he really he's a real guy. He's just a blue collar guy, you know, with war hero parents. Uh, it was, I think his dad had like six or seven bronze stars in the Battle of the Bulge. That but all that's a side issue. The point is just a good blue collar, you know, family from Minnesota. And, and, and they know he's got grassroots appeal, so they've been busy destroying him because they're scared of a third-party run. Uh, I mean, it's on record. The CIA visited him his first day as governor and, and basically tried to intimidate him. Uh, so they know that they don't control Ventura, so they don't like him. They're assassinating him. They're assassinating well, yeah, his character. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I used to listen to Rush Limbaugh. You know, we're talking 20 years ago. He was pretty good back then. But he's gone now. He's he's so pro Bush, pro Republican. I, I can't listen to listen to the guy anymore. You know. Yeah, I mean he'll admit Boehner and them have sold out and are trying to open the borders and all the rest of it. Uh, but I mean, he doesn't. I mean he is completely deaf. He has elect you know a, a artificial ear. He doesn't sound like he used to. I don't want to sit there and attack the guy, but it's not the Rush Limbaugh that I heard twenty years ago. I agree. You've done for globalists what he did for liberals back then. So. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I'm up against Limbaugh, not by choice. It was Ted Anderson and a guy named Michael Trudeau, the program director at the network. I was on at night, loved it. Uh, great callers during the day, but statistically, you just get more folks home that are drunk, you know, uh, that call in, so you get some bad callers. But we have some good ones mixed in. Uh, but I like doing a nighttime show. I'm really awake then. I'm not really a morning guy. I mean, I, am, I get up in the morning. I feel pretty good, but not compared to nighttime. I'm a nighttime guy. I don't stay up real late, but I just, you know, think my best from about 5 to 10 at night. And they said, no, you're going up against Limbaugh because nobody else will. We can get you affiliates. And they were actually right. It actually worked. And uh, in, in more than 10 cities over the years, we've gotten better ratings than him on small stations. That's unheard of.
their answer is they always just get bought out and they put sports on or other talk radio. So it isn't just win. It's like I'm a race car driver that with a race car that isn't half as good has beaten the champions. And then what you get is a boycott campaign in the city to shut you off. You get their attention. Oh, Alex Jones is number one in Orlando. Alex Jones is number one in Rochester. Alex Jones is number one in this Southern California town. Alex Jones is number one in you know this area. And, and just like clockwork, I'm taking off the air. So that's what you get when you're number one. And no doubt, you line me up, fair shake, up against any of these people, I would destroy them in the ratings. It's just a fact, because I'm real. It's, it's, I'm not saying I'm that good of a talk show. It's just compared to these people, I'm great, because people want to hear hardcore news. I appreciate your call. And it just shows how they try to suppress liberty. It's not that I'm popular. It's that freedom's popular. They just never let it get on the market. They try to suppress it so people don't know what's out there and what's available. But if you could ever get freedom in front of people, they'll choose it. They've just been like mushrooms in the dark getting fed poop for so long by Brian Williams, who vomits it out like the mama owl to the babies. You know, Brian Williams pooping out his mouth to the little baby, little, little babies out there, little baby viewers that they don't know. They just think you live in the dark and are fed piles of horse manure out of the horse manure horse butt that is the mouth of Brian Williams and Hillary Clinton. I'm sorry to be gross, but I mean, this is who these people are. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in.